Bow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yay. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Hey. Welcome. Hi. Welcome to uh, week 47, episode 47 of <laughs> Solon's Legacy. We made it, friends. We did it. Yeah, yeah. Look and look, yeah. Ryan. Ryan altered the overlay, so all that wonderful information is there and available, including rerolls and <gasps> stuff. That's so true. none, none for me. There's a big fatty zero right there. And so I'm on that one. That's wonderful. Um, but that's a great way for us to visually keep track of how everybody's doing as far as blessings and rerolls go. So that's very exciting. That's great, Ryan. Good job. Mm -hmm. um, and Diva's here, but she's not here. She'll jump in when she can. Uh, Walker, we just got back. We're pretty much good to go. So we we left last week in the middle of a massive fight. Uh, Star Welcome to Solon's Legacy! <laughs> uh, Starheart uh, dipped down into the uh, into the temple, like floated her magic happy ass all the way through, <laughs> uh, got the Solite's arm, somehow pulled it like a rabbit from a hat, uh, and it attached to the rest of the Solite's body. She arrived with a corpse, tugged on the arm at a separation and pulled forth a flaming white sword, which has changed hands a couple times now. I don't know who's hanging on to it at this moment. I think she still has it. Yeah. Because Bubo have it. had it and then Bubo set it down. So I think Starheart still has it. Cool. Uh, and then a protector of the Solite, a very, uh, a, a holy looking giant man warrior thing, uh, showed up, raised five undead and started to attack everybody for desecrating this temple. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Uh, and people are kind of getting sliced and diced as we go. Uh, I also forgot that Fizz Binkle should be with you guys, so oh. he'll probably catch up in a minute. Um, <laughs> I made it. Hey, you guys. <laughs> but the, uh, I think, yeah, I think I kept track of the rest of everybody. Um, yeah. And we're going to continue that same turn order. Um, so we're kind of going to kind of jump back in. So, uh, but before we do, a couple things. One, Thank you, Wormwood, as always. Uh, hey. Wonderful sponsor, your great sponsorship uh, from, from these folks. And they're doing, uh, they continue to blow me away with all the cool stuff that they're doing. So not only are they making uh, medical equipment for people with their spare time, they're also doing their homebrew line of Wormwood uh, objects. They just launched a new Kickstarter today and they, uh, for dice, and they hit like 40,000 today, yeah. like right mm -hmm. off the bat. So congratulations to them. I think they're still live celebrating today. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they're uh, they've been great. Um, so hooray for them! And the cricket's back. Welcome, yeah. 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 Um, the cricket is big. I hate this cricket. <laughs> in my existence. Yeah. Um, it was even out. Oh, because now we have those windows blocked out, so now it's all day. It's not just nighttime anymore. He doesn't know what time like, it is anymore. No, so he just <laughs> chirp, 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 chirp. Um, but definitely, I prefer the lighting this way. Um, what else happened? Oh, yeah, and also uh, level up dice. If you would like to, uh, oh, sorry, didn't even finish the Wormwood thing. If you use our code perception at checkout, uh, you can get yourself free shipping on anything uh, Wormwood, uh, with the exception of outside the US. Sorry, sorry about it. Um, but they make wonderful dice trays, dice towers, dice Ooh, vaults, which I will great. finally be filling my vaults with, because uh, I didn't tell you guys, but our, our friend Steph Sharp uh, mailed our dice. <gasps> Raid. So they should be showing up raid, fairly raid, soon. Raid, raid, raid! We're being raided! I should oh. probably have my eyeballs on the chat. Ah, fancy raid! Fancy raid! Ooh, what's up? Oh, oh, fancy. Fancy. fancy! For the fancy raid! Uh, <laughs> much appreciated, friends. Uh, thank you for coming. Stick around. Uh, and again, Wormwood, if you like Wormwood stuff, free shipping from us uh, if you use our code Perception. Uh, to talk again about uh, Level Up Dice, if you use our link in the chat, that helps us out. It's a sort of a point system. If, uh, if you guys buy stuff using our link, it allows us to earn points towards us doing giveaways for you guys. Um, so super fun. Uh, yeah. And there are ways for you to interact with this wonderful, fun, ridiculous D&D show. Uh, for $5, you can give our players blessings. That is one D6 roll that they can apply to anything. That is checks, that is damage. They can cash it in for healing. They can do all kinds of stuff with it. Basically, if there is, if there are dice involved, they can use it for that. Um, and if they use it for that, I can't touch it with my DM rerolls. For $10, you can add to the pool of rerolls, or if something that's been happening a little more recently, you can give a reroll directly to a specific player. Um, and we have counters for all that now on the overlay, which you can see. Um, I can see where everybody's at at the moment. 
Uh, and for $15, you can give me DM rerolls, which allow me to uh, force players to reroll their good rolls. <laughs> it's kind of Ooh. my favorite thing. <laughs> for $25, you can drop a character of your choice. Uh, you can describe that character. They can be an enemy, an ally, whatever you like, and we'll make it fit, and we'll play with it and have lots of fun. For $50, you can give our players DM rerolls, and you can see exactly how uh, bonkers that can get. <laughs> DM. And by DM rerolls, he means DM powers. DM powers, <laughs> fuck me, yeah, DM powers. Uh, so that allows a player to take over the story for one minute. Uh, clarifying now with the caveat that it must also be within the scene, you must be very descriptive uh, and trying not to jump across too many hurdles. But first time, gotta learn, right? So it's all good. Uh, and we're gonna continue to play. Uh, that That's where we're at. So... Ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. So, I believe it was, or it is, or it will be. Oh, geez, who's who is this? I think they ended. I think he ended with me, because so I was the yep. last last ah. one. So, so then it's the big guy's turn. Top of the oh, turn. Yes. <laughs> Word. Um, also, got a notification. Looks like Diva will not be joining us tonight. Oh, what? No diva tonight. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> no worries. Sort of. <laughs> oh, uh, that's fine. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Um, be fun. Thinking on your feet. Mm. Yeah. Starheart fell down the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, um, what was I doing? Uh, top of the order. Top of the order, big bad guy. There we are, thank you. Uh, I don't remember who struck him last, uh, but he's probably gonna go for that. Uh, oh, actually, so you might. Hmm? I know that um, Bubo has spike growth up right now. Yep. Oh, so yeah. So if he moves, he'll have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. And then I can't remember, I think Bubo did, did uh, do we have blessing up from Starheart? Mm-hmm. No. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. That's a D4. Dope. That is all. Sorry, continue. Ah! Ah, crap. <laughs> cool. She left the meeting. Uh, I have to read. Uh, so she broke the screen? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I'll. You guys do things. I'll fix stuff. Cool. You're doing great, Ryan. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you. Um. Dope. I love that it does that. I want right? to see. I want to see. Oh, weird. Yeah. Uh, uh, boo -boo. My head is huge. Mondre. I'm huge. I wear a black and I'm sad. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys end up seeing some of your, your characters that Tawny, that uh. Oh, for the Sims? Yes. I did. Yeah. 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 I tuned in for that stream, but I couldn't get it to load all the way, so I had to keep, like, I loaded it in, and still images kept happening. So I did that for about 15 minutes. Oh, uh, bummer. Well she'll, well, she'll be on again this yeah, week. Yeah, I'm sure she'll stream it again. Yeah. Uh, so he, uh, the, the the big uh, golden hero, well, white armor, so uh, anyway, big old shiny guy. Uh, he hits twice, but he, he is going to go through that spike growth. So how much damage is that again? Sorry. Um, give me one sec. Mm -hmm. Who is he going after? Uh, he's going to cut straight ahead and try and take out, um, which call him the uh, eel. eel. Yeah. Uh, two, two D4 piercing damage for every five feet. Oh, snap. Okay, so that'll be a lot. <laughs> yes, uh, my growth. Yeah, and that's that and radius, that's, um, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I rolled five. Five damage. Okay. So five damage for every five feet. Sweet. 25 damage. More than that, because he's he's going straight through. Oh. So hold up. It becomes difficult terrain too, so that might mean it might uh, shorten his movement. Yeah. Uh, not his movement, but it, it will shorten the skeleton's movement. Mm. Yeah, he's gonna go, and he's he's going to take a, a little bit more damage than that. Uh, and he is going to hack away at a uh, poor eel. Leave him alone, you bullies. Oh. Goodbye, D10. I don't need you anymore. I didn't cool. like that D10 anyway. 
<laughs> uh, so he busts that he bit he he raises his giant sword and just bashes eel across the jaw and the lower jaw unhinges and flies from this bone naga no. structure Yikes. um Yikes. who has mending and the second <laughs> attack uh hit as well uh he he lifts the sword back around cleaves eel's skull in half uh, the, the bones fall from the sky and it just <clears throat> splits all the way down the spine and all that remains is the ghostly form that you knew Eel as before. Oh, yeah. no. I mean, not the worst. Uh, not the best, either. <laughs> <laughs> and then it will be... La, 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 la. The skeletons turns. Uh, the one closest to Eel is dead just from spike growth already. Um, and these guys uh, are going to go forward and take their damage as well. So Eel's gone. They're, these guys are trying to come through. They're going to come past. Take a lot of damage. This one doesn't make it either. So now we're down to this guy and those two skeletons. Next up is Aura. After me. Uh, okay, I'm just going to send two Eldritch Blasts at a Big fella. Big fella. Oh, and I have less, so I will remember to add that. Shots. Mm -hmm. Shots, shots. Oh, that one's gonna miss. Okay, that's good. Um, let's see. 17 plus. Uh, 24 to hit on the first one. Cool, that'll hit. And then the second one's probably gonna miss. It's six. Um, 13 to hit on the second one? No. Yeah, I figured. That's okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Let's take Savage Attack. Nine points of force damage. Nine points, okay. And that's my turn. And that's my turn. It's a beautiful turn. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful turd? I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's right. a beautiful turd. What? So it Such is a now turd. Starheart's turn. Um, so Starheart, knowing Starheart, is going to probably belligerently attack nearest skeleton with new shiny flaming sword. It does have new shiny flaming sword. Absolutely. Um, and she's going to swing with this sucker. I can't remember if her spiritual weapon's out or not. If not, no worries. I think it is. It is. Yeah. Uh, one of those will hit. And it's gonna be a sh damage to the demon. She strikes with the sword. Contact breaks bones, and then as it sits on that those those undead rattling bones, a, like a radiant explosion occurs, and it just rips half those ribs off of the body of the skeleton. It's still standing, but it got it got shaken. I should go steal that from her. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't here to die. Hey, yeah, uh, are you using that? <laughs> yeah. can, I, can I have it? Can I... <laughs> <laughs> Her spiritual weapon. Yeah. Gonna bash it over the head as well, and it'll take a little bit more damage, but still standing pretty strong. Next up, he looks like a boo boo. Good thing I was paying attention. Um, great. Uh, yeah, you know, I have Hunter's Mark up on that guy. Mm -hmm. um, on the big baddie. Mm -hmm. but what was it? Some chick or something, was it? No, it's a... It's a, uh, it's a man. Uh, human-like, but not human. Larger yeah. than a human. It's a man, baby! It's Sorry. a man! <laughs> he he, he looks like a man. He <laughs> <laughs> looks like a man. Oh, I just... Flew back in time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use my bow and shoot him twice in the face. Ow! Bang! Um, all right, let's see. First hit is. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Uh, first hit is a 15. Okay. That does not hit. 
Uh, Next hit is a 24. That will hit. Great. That will hit. That is correct. Plus five. Oh, good. Love rolling these high damage numbers. Woof. Um, we'll do six points, six, seven, eight, nine points of damage. Three is fire damage. Mm, mm, nice. From the Orithil fire arrows. Nice. It like, it clips like, uh, he's got this sort of like T-visor in his helm. Mm -hmm. and it goes like in this and you just hear it kind of like hook around his cheek <gasps> and like stick in so there's just an arrow arrow tail like sticking out from the front you got him reeling in he's a fighter um, you got him you got him <laughs> I'd like to send Doomerill to kind of fuck with this little guy right here okay sure the skeleton mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um hey John skeleton I want to see if he can because he normally like he loves to go for eyes with the claw attacks so I'm gonna see if he can just go for the eye sockets <laughs> like, and and just yeah and just like lift the head and maybe remove it um, uh -huh. as best he can. Sure. Um, let's see. I ended up. That's um. I had I had started that new Doomerel sheet, but yeah. I don't know that I finished it. Let's see. Attack is um two d six plus one. <laughs> Oh, where did that go? Don't push that button, Luna. No, no, no. I have written down 2d6 plus 1 for attack, and then the damage is a d10. Sweet. <sighs> so, 2d6 plus 1. I'll roll that. That's... Well... Oh. 2d6 plus 1. I don't know if that'll make an attack, will it? Because uh, that doesn't get past people's armors class. I would say still... You just said 2d6 plus 1? That's a damage. Yeah. Is it, that's a damage roll? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what I roll. I don't know what I put down here then. Hold on. I mean, it's probably a d20 plus... See, Maybe it's that's why damage. you just gotta get... It's probably a jack. Good old practical dice. Quit worrying about technology. <laughs> I think in his notes he miswrote it. Yeah, I don't know. What do you normally roll for Doom Roll? We'll just go with that for now until uh, I can figure out this sheet that I filled out. I usually roll a D twenty, give him like plus plus four to hit, I think, and then uh I will I'll keep either of those damage that you like at this point. Well he got a natural one, so I don't think he's gonna make it. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh oh indeed. Uh so Doomerel goes in and tries to like hook the the skeleton's sockets. He successfully does but unfortunately he can't pull up and now he also can't release his claw. So he's like, they're oh. kind of like circling and oh. laughing and trying to get away. Yeah, so you see the skeleton with the sword like, ah, ah, ah. Um, yeah. All right, mm -hmm. that's your turn. Okay. Next up is Andre. I'm not there. I'm You're inside. not there. You're inside, oh, you're right. You climb up a rope or something or use fighter climb boots you got I, on? I honestly... You, you did hear them though. It was uh, I forgot. Oh, what it, was exactly. it was the. It was my thunder boom thing. Oh, you yes. Heard it. Ooh, yes. So inside the chamber, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, Very loud yeah. thunder boom. <laughs> uh, okay. So I, you could probably take your turn to get up along the ledge right. to to make it here. I, think I, that's... I will. I will get up there. <laughs> yeah. So you get there to see basically this giant oh. shimmering demigod looking man uh, with a bunch of skeletons in front of him hacking up <laughs> your friends. The... Eels. Bo new body crashed to the ground and obliterated. Well, I see I'm late to the party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and right. then I'm there. <laughs> it's Nitsage. Um, I kind of feel bad for this guy. No, no, he's just doing mm -hmm. job. Aren't you ready? I am ready. Okay. I uh, well, there's a couple of things <laughs> I was gonna do, but I can't. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna cast a uh, message to this guy. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna send him a message that's basically like, 
if, if you can stop attacking, uh, we can discuss this uh, like proper etiquette, uh, men and women. Roll a persuasion for me, please. Mm. Uh, do I have any conditions? Nope, I'm all good. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, let's uh, plus zero. Here we go. <laughs> 14. Uh, um, actually, yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's like just enough. Um, so he uh, he takes his sword. He reaches his hand and like closes his fist and the spike growth retreats back into the earth. Mm. And he takes his sword, jams it into the snow, puts his hand on top of his other hand. Everyone stop, please. Please stop. <laughs> um, um, he has uh, obviously willing, is willing to discuss uh, this um, misunderstanding. Um, uh, Aura, please. Uh, I apologize for disturbing the tomb of this Solite. However, there is a living Solite here somewhere, somewhere on the wor in the world, and we're trying to find her to keep her safe. And unfortunately, we required this hand in order to do that. Hmm. We have. Um... Uh, been, um, I think, um, uh, tasked uh, by, you know, Hortiel himself. Um, as you can see, um, Bubo, Mr. Bubo here and I are both uh, of the of the Quileer, and we would never do anything to desecrate um, a Salite, as temple. He gestures as... weakly over to the body that's on the ground without an arm. <laughs> Right. Um, again, we have been given instruction by... Um, by Hortiel. Um, you're doing great. I'm sorry. <laughs> we had only heard rumors that the hand was all that was left of the Solite. I, I apologize. We didn't realize it was her entire body here. We will, of course, rebury her to your standards. But we will require the hand, unfortunately. It is a holy weapon, and we need it to uh, destroy a a cult that has been draining the power of Cloat for evil use. He raises what she said again, and just sort of looks at you all for a moment. You speak truth. He he brings his hand down, and the undead that he raised just slip back below the ice. Oh, that's that's. That's pretty neat. Uh, he sheathes his sword. There's no need to take care of this body. It is already done. Keep the sword. You will need it. Return it when you're done, and I will guard it. Better than oh. I have this day. That, that sounds like a deal. We could return it. Um, we could at least take her back down there for you, if you'd like. Yeah. I'd hate to leave her in this condition. Very well. He turns on his heel, and as like the glimmer of his armor kind of hits your eyes, the second it's gone, so is he. Hmm. I, well, I just didn't feel like, uh, I think it was a misunderstanding. It was a misunderstanding. Um, I rushed over to the way to handle it. <laughs> um, I immediately grab like legs or something as uh, we're taking this back down to the tomb. Yes, of course. Did you see where uh, um, Starheart got the body from? I was. I was there. Um, so I can I can help us uh, direct it back to where it belongs. Right. Um, Parn, will you help Andre, please? He's still underground. He's oh, he's still under. Still under. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, Bubo, uh, will you? You're, you're strong, right? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Um, uh, do you do you mind helping Andre? You, you're yeah, the first part. Strong. Said. What? You are stronger than me. That's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm glad to help. All right. Bloop. Um, yeah, I just put the body's uh, ankles on my shoulders because I'm a wee man. And yeah, You're uh, pretty strong though, right? I'm okay. I'm not the worst. Uh, you're better than a negative two. Yes, I'm a plus <laughs> one. <laughs> 
Uh, but yes, I, I lead Bubo with me back down into the uh, the crypt and place. Did we find Did we find an opening oh. that would fit us oh. tall people? Uh, not yet. Well, oh. sort of. Actually, you know where it is. Uh, you started to kind of melt your way through before mm. this guy showed up over mm-hmm. the hill. So you would have to continue your work to actually like claw your way down. But we'll say you have all the time in the world to do so. Okay. So you do so. Okay. Um, so you all will just be entering from elsewhere. And so I'll place you properly in just a moment. From mm. elsewhere? I played that game today. Stop. Ah, stupid. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Oops. Terms of volume. You're going to have to mm-hmm. destroy that thing. Hmm? Look at it. You're gonna have to delete that yellow mark that I made. That's fine. We're on a different page now. Oh, that yellow mark. I see it. That's fine. Hold up. I don't know how to delete marks. Oh, it's already. I just know how to make them. You should be able to just click it and then delete. But I don't know. Like, uh, if you go back to the cursor and you just like grab it, if you highlight it, I, no? I cannot. Maybe I, only I have. Yeah. I maybe only I have, have that power. You only uh, have that power. <laughs> only I only have that power. No other power. No other power. <laughs> only that one. <laughs> only that power you have. Boop, boop. Uh, cool. So you're all looking at the inside of the thingy thing, right? Yes, and I'm, I, I'm placing the body back. I would like to do a very detailed investigation of this body. Mm. Um, just sure. getting logistics on it, you know, um, mm. you know, any any kind of, if there's any kind of writing or, or, or you know, markings or anything, I'm just going to just, yeah, go for it. As you as you are doing that, okay. I kind of look to you and it's like, not uh, not planning to bring this one back, are you? I mean, I don't know if that's a good idea. I mean, I, 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 I wouldn't. I, <laughs> oh, oh, well, I mean, no, of course not. But could you imagine what we'd learn from her? She probably want her hand back. <laughs> That, that may be true. Andre, imagine the possibilities. I cast the- gentle repose on the body. <laughs> so it cannot be raised. <laughs> Counterspell, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so roll a... Um, so, so sorry, what exactly were you trying to, to glean from the corpse as you're uh, examining? Anything that I can. Sure. Uh, let's roll investigation. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> uh, just straight investigation. Oh, no, oh, investigation. Uh, that's oh going to be a twenty-eight. Holy crap! He's got a plus eight investigation. Good grief! Wow. Damn. Okay. I want to uh, know her name. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know all the sizes, everything. Uh, well, you note a lot of strange things. Well, for wonder, she's missing a lot of markings that uh, a normal human would have. She's human-like. She's she's somewhere between human and quiet as far as her general like shape and bone structure mm. and height and all of that. No belly button. Um, exactly. No belly button. No fingernails. No teeth that you can tell. Oh, um, yeah. Weird. Like things that are necessary for our survival are not were not necessary for her survival. So like hmm. she doesn't have this sort of protected body. Like yeah, she's got bones, but like her skin is very thin and very brittle because it, it, you have a feeling that's not the thing that protected her in life. Hmm. Uh, she's, so she's almost translucent. Um, she seems very fragile, but you can also tell that just from your normal understanding of magic that she was like not just a vessel, but like a source of pure. Mm. energy and pure magic when she was breathing and living. I mean, otherwise, you got details. Uh, her hair is white, her eyes are green. Um, she wears basically like a, a plain white um, shawl thing, which she probably took off to examine, but she's... Um, What's yeah. her what's her uh, decomposition state right now? Non-existent. <sighs> She's not decomposed at all. You, it's hard for you to tell. Actually, no, it wouldn't be with that role. Uh, mm-hmm. You would assume that it's how she was stored here. Like wh- whatever mm-hmm. kept her in that stasis um, is what is, has kept her from from falling apart over the it's over the thousands of years. Too. Yeah, yeah. It's cold. It's the magic because it, in all the drawings, it was just her arm from here up. Uh, right. floating so the rest of her body was below probably submerged oh, and now we know that her arm yeah. was a weapon on its own mm-hmm. um, what does so, the what what does the wound of the arm look like on her uh it 
it, it looks like an arm. Uh, like, it just looks like a very, very clean sever, like razor thin. So it just looks like meat on this but, side of it. But like bones? Bones? Yeah, anything yeah she, has, she has bones. Uh, oh. Musculature is very like, not atrophied, it's just, it never formed. Like, it's just kind of, she's just this very soft thing. Like, if she were a human being, she would look very gaunt and malnourished, but mm. you could tell that this being was designed to be this way. Um, um, she, she looks fine. Can I can I try and like detect any of any magic on her, like any residual magic that's still with her? Sure. So uh, I'll I'll cast I'll just cast that and see if I can't gleam what. Yeah, like any kind of like residual magic or or what. Uh... <clears throat> You know what school of magic that she? Uh, not really that, but maybe like. Um, what am I trying to? What am I trying to detect here? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't. You know, just, just maybe the power that she still might have as a in death. You know that kind of thing. Yeah, uh, if she has any at all. Yeah. Uh trying to think that's because obviously like she was still it was still enough to to have a beacon on her mm -hmm. you know from the starlight um gem right does she have a starlight star heart on her hmm? does she no. have a, no 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 um so what you can remember from from all oh, the oh, Starheart. yes yes sorry yeah sorry. starheart gem is like the the vehicle to bring right. their bodies here to this plane um but she, uh, you would imagine that, yes, there would be some sort of radiant power still within this body somewhere, but mostly it, it's, it's so like, you know, if it was like a radiation half-life, it would like, it would barely tick off the Geiger counter. It, uh, okay. It's all, That's it's exactly. all but spent, but it's still there because it is a holy relic regardless. That's exactly what I was asking. Thank yeah. you. Sure. So it's, it's inert. That's the word I was trying to find. Um, Copy that. Nitsage. Yeah, uh, 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 just give me a give me a second, right. and I finish it up. <laughs> one one thousand. Without 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 looking at uh, at Aura. Yes yes Aura. Don't bring her back. Mm. <sighs> Sorry, of course not. Possible. not. <laughs> but I'm just saying we are missing an opportunity that I is beyond. Know. I think it'd be a great idea. I know. Thank you, Bubo. Mm. I know how curious you can get, and sometimes you just do things. You just do them. I just want to just put this in your mind. If you bring her back, it's going to bring a lot of attention, not just to her, but to us. I think godlike level attention, and that might not be a good thing. That's actually a very good idea, and I'm glad you said that, because I really was thinking about bringing her back. But I like a good debate, and you have made your point. Um, <laughs> True to the true to uh but right on right on target. If you brought her back, then maybe she could fight for us and help break those chains. Or she could kill us for chopping off her arm, or maybe her power. I mean to bring back something like that. Or I mean it sets I, a beacon out to the cult members and they come hunting for her. I'm just saying, I don't I don't think I do, you know, like, does she have a soul? Like, does she even have a, 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 um, a way to do this? I don't know. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know because we have made a decision. You don't know because we told her you haven't tried it. We would put her body back in the tomb. And it's in the tomb. It's, it is in the tomb. We are in a tomb. And it will cost you 10 days to wait for you to actually resume it. <laughs> I made it what, so what? her body is protected by me for the next 10 days. Y yes, that of course <laughs> is true, because apparently I'm not to be trusted, but that's fine. I nope. I Thanks have been asking first. <laughs> I have been asking first, so please give me that. You have been asking. The answer is no, but at least you're... <laughs> so uh, do we want to come back in 10 days? <laughs> No, I'm fine. It's fine. It's fine. So I'm me, sorry. I'm I'll start sorry. describing what you're all looking at. So, Andre, you've been sort of yelling this across the room to all of them mm -hmm. uh, because you're still in this smaller area with Starheart. Uh, since you all have left, a lot of the uh, the items here have sort of reset. Mm. Um, so you, uh, smaller folk, and Jeb, so Parn, Starheart, and Andre, and Jeb mm. are in this closed-off area 
uh, off to the east side here in that building. Uh, and in the northern side, which is where you followed the roots in, where that pool is, uh, that is where the rest of you have come through. Well, um, technically, Danny, I'm right. I'm right next to Andre and them because I'm with. We're with the body, right? Mm, okay, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to say you guys were uh, talking in this corner up here, mm-hmm. where you can still very clearly see each other from the other side of that that gate, but none of you can get through it. Okay. Um, so you're still you're close, but you're not. We're separated. You can't pass through yet. I don't. I'm, I'm not on here in my Here, okay. we're up in this corner, he said, yeah. where we can see them, but we can't get to them because there's like a gate here. Well, then where did, where did they put the, the body at? So the body would be right here. Mm. And you guys are right. Right. Here. And if I was investigating the body and looking over it, wouldn't I be right on top of the body? You could reach your arm through this gate. You just can't get the rest of your body through. So you still would have been able to like look at it or whatever. So, but I'm just saying like, this is the split. This is the split of where you all are physically in space. Mm. I didn't get a chance to get there. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. After I'm done uh, chiding Nitzage, can I look for any, um, Thieves Cant or any hidden writing anywhere? Sure. Okey-dokey. I'd like to check for anything like uh, treasure related. Awesome. Uh, any uh, sort of goods, swords, weapons, magical items? Okay. Nah, uh, three. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah you don't see anything like there's so much intricate like sculpture and stuff on the walls it's hard to it would be hard to find thieves can't in this this very oh Uber Baldi, thank you for thank that you, re-roll. dm re-roll for me because i'm feeling generous because i got a promotion congratulations Yay! Yay! congratulations congratulations that's all that's all that's all that's all that's all that's next to danny <laughs> yay i have a reaver <laughs> a reaver so, Aura, you do not find anything. Uh, 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 Lockerbie, uh, Ubo, <laughs> could you uh, roll for me uh, an investigation? <clears throat> That's an 18. An 18. So you don't see treasure directly, but you being a long, like a lifelong bounty hunter and just knowing kind of how to sniff out traps and toys and trinkets and that sort of thing, you notice uh, there are these two um, sort of sculpture thingies here and you're like, aha, these all have to do with each other. Like this is an interlocking system down here. Um, so yeah, something about your brain tells you like, if I figure this out, I will find treasure. Hmm. Great, let's figure it out. <laughs> what do you, uh, um... I push the button. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> uh, you you push the button uh, and it does slide down the stone. It doesn't click and it slides back up. Well, what am I looking at? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's a sort of. It almost looks like glass. It's this. Uh, it almost. It looks like opalite. So essentially, it is a. It's a translucent but still not completely see through stone, uh, with four bars kind of covering it and one peg that acts as that button all the way down. But something, uh, you, you suspect something else needs to happen before this it will be allowed to connect. Okay, and is that just on the one thing? There are two identical ones right next to each other. Yeah, do they both do the same thing? Yeah, you check the other one, it does the same thing. You're able to push it down and then it slides itself back up. But you're, you, you are certain that this is the beginning of the mechanism. Uh, that you need in order to get what you want specifically. You just have to mm. kind of figure it out. Mm. What if, what if, what if we cut off other parts of her body and that also produces weapons too? <laughs> I don't uh, think it works I mean, that way. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, we could cut off different parts of your body as well and use them as clubs. So. Well, let's see if you now, weapons. Andre, I'm not, I, I, I'm sorry. I did. I meant no disrespect. I just meant that, you know, there, there is a perfect being right here. What, what yes. else can she be used for, for the, for the bidding of good? She can be used to rest. She has done a lot for the world already. <laughs> for you, Andre, mm. <laughs> uh, since you're the only uh, player in that space at the moment. Uh, you see, there are, uh, as you sort of saw, you can still see through the bars kind of what Bubo was doing kind of around the corner. Um, you notice that there are two identical ones in your room as well. 
Uh, there are also the two sarcophagi here. There are um, a couple of unlit braziers. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, another pool. And y- you find that these pools are sort of magically refilling, and you can assume that they were initially designed to keep the plant fed, the plant that has been feeding the Kwai Lem for these thousands of years. Ah, gotcha. Um, so th- the water is pristine. Like, there's nothing murky about it. It, it is oddly perfectly clean. Um, and that- that's about what you see. But all So there are three gates here. Oh, sorry, I think three. Hold up. Yeah, three gates here. Uh, one, one up here, separating you from your friends, mm-hmm. and then there are two smaller ones here. And they're they just seem to be closed, locked. Yeah, they're ju- they're locked, um, but they they are powered by a a similar system that you imagine is somehow still linked to that same mm-hmm. system uh, that is keeping Bubo from his treasure. Got it. Um, on two unlit braziers. Hmm. Uh, does it look like they're supposed to be lit for some kind of a ceremony or anything like that? Uh, you're not sure. It's pretty dark here, but you're a- you're able to see. You're, you're ma- it's it's hard for you to know. Um, but most likely, you know, possibly tribute, possibly ritual. The the customs here are more ancient than you or your people, uh, so you're not entirely certain. Uh, thank you, Jose, for the sub. Mm-hmm. I know it's been longer this anyway. It's a baby llama, in case you're curious. <laughs> a llama? A llama? Baby alpaca, to be specific. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, for those of you, uh, the taller humans, or the taller peoples up in the northern chamber, there are no gates blocking you from the larger portion of the uh, of this temple. Yeah, we see that. Oh, oh, oh! There's an opening. Two openings. Danny, do yes. these two items here look like anything, or are they just pillars? They are also unlit, uh, like brazier torch type things. Mm-hmm. Danny, you said we're over. The uh, oh, I did I not? We can go into that room in the corner. Yeah. So or uh, so Nitsuj, that's you, or a um, Bubo. This is who is that? <laughs> That's Andre. Starheart? Oh. No, Starheart's in here. Oh, this is the soldier. No. This is is that Parn? Was that like an accidental Parn? That's an accidental Parn. Mm. It's a duplicate. Am I not looking at the right? Do I not Oh, I don't have any of those people on my map. Hmm? Refresh. I I refreshed. I refreshed. Refresh, refreshed. Are you on uh, the right layer? Oh, here we are. Okay, cool. Um Hmm. Can I check the doorway for traps? Uh, which doorway? Uh, I'm gonna look at the one on the this one. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, uh... Yeah, and that's usually just straight investigation, right? Sorry, oops, didn't mean to move. Yeah. On. Cool. Not investigation, please. I don't have any of mm, Fifteen. Hmm. Uh, you see no traps. Okay. I will walk through. Can you go back to the? Yeah. I can't see. None of that's on my. Screen. I walked through this. <laughs> And where am I at? You're right there. Is this uh, this is Nitsage, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's you. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna follow behind Aura. And who do we say was up there? Parn and. I think this is Bubo. Yeah, that's Bubo, and that is um, oh shoot, what's his bucket? Hush. Okay, I oh. can't move you because I'm not logged in. Right. No, of course. Um. Uh, hush, hush! What do you, what do you make of all this? Uh, and 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 how's, um, how's Eel doing? Eel is dead again, but he's been dead for a long time. <laughs> How are you doing? And I'm fine. I, I've been used to this as well. I just thought I'd take him out for a walk, as it were. Oh. But uh, as far as this place, uh, I, I've, I've never been here before. I, I am sort of humbled to be in the presence of uh, a tomb of the Sarlight. Uh, yes, of course. Um... I'm going to take out the letter from <clears throat> Mortiel. Mm-hmm. I'll uh, light up my dagger so I can see, because I don't think there's any lights in here, right? There's just dark braziers? Correct. Okay. Um, I can't remember if I can read this or not, but I'm going to try and read it out loud. And it's... Yeah, I don't know if I can read this language, actually. 
<laughs> Did you read the language? Absolutely, anything. That's it. <laughs> here and try reading this aloud and see if that does anything. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to... I'll go ahead and cast uh, Comprehend Languages uh, on myself. Uh, it'll take about 10 minutes for me to do that. So uh, maybe as people are walking, I'm just kind of like sitting there uh, chilling next to the fountain. Okay. Um, and then I'll, I'll cast Comprehend Languages. Um, I would like to light this brazier that I'm standing next to with my produced flame. Okay. Uh, it lights, and then it doesn't stay lit. It goes out. Hmm. It catches for just a moment, and then it sort of fizzles out as if as if the fuel supply is, is wrong or something like that. Who has the sword right now? All right. Uh, <laughs> I see you doing this, because uh, you're in the same room, right? No. No? We're in the north chamber. You're in the, like, the west chamber, the east chamber. Oh, even Bubo's in the, that chamber? Mm-hmm. All, uh, all the tall folk had to be over there. I see. You're with the short folk over here, yeah. and Jeb because Jeb is collapsible. Mm. <gasps> okay. Because I'm not, I don't see them on my map. I only see myself in the... Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you have Starheart with you, though, and she's got, she's got it. Okay, cool. Um, Bubo, do you mm. think uh, possibly a different type of flame might be what you're looking for? And I kind of... Uh, perhaps. I've only got one kind, though. I, I, I asked Starheart if I can uh, take the sword from her. Um, and I walk over to the place where we can kind of cross and bring things to each other. And I sure. stick out the, the starlight sword to you. Try that's, this. That's over here, right? Yeah. Yeah, right, so, so I grab that it. To you. Mm -hmm. I grab it and then run it back over here to light this brazier. Perfect. It lights. It stays lit. It's mm -hmm. <laughs> a brilliant. I don't. Ha I couldn't find it, but a brilliant white flame <laughs> fills that torch. Um, Excellent. Then I run around here and do it to the other one over here. Alrighty. Alrighty. Do, 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 do. Bam. Bam. So those two are now lit. And then I run back over here and press the button again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Tonight's Foley brought to you by... <laughs> uh, so as you press it down, it clicks and light starts emanating from that spot. Oh. It stays lit as well. Huh. And then I do it to the other one. Wonder. Hey guys, I'm on a roll. Check this out. Nope, this is the right <laughs> thing to do. <laughs> it's always the right thing to do. Pushing buttons, lighting preachers. Uh, this one also... <laughs> click. It lights. Mm -hmm. Move you out of the way for a second. <laughs> Does anything else happen? Why can't I put it there? Uh, no. <laughs> so not I... here. Actually, that's not true. Something does happen. You hear lots of whirring and <laughs> like all across the temple. Oh. Uba, what did you do? Something's been activated, but nothing exactly is happening. Happening. Good yet. stuff. Good stuff. Watch this. And I run back over to the gate. Hey, Andre. Yeah. You got two. I do. Uh, pillar, no, not braziers. Pillars that you can press buttons on. They don't do anything. But I also have braziers that I have not lit yet either. Great. Take the sword, light the braziers, and then push the buttons. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> uh, I grab the sword from him and I run over to the the braziers that are unlit on my side and repeat the process. All right, they're now lit. And it was like Buddy the Elf right now in the elevator. And then those buttons are also <laughs> the whirring and grinding of this temple begins to it, it, it's into a cacophony. It's just cinder blocks against mm. cinder blocks is the sound, just scraping and grinding 
but still nothing yet seems to happen. Oh. However, uh, this gate does open. Oh, oh. oh wait, oh no, I did the wrong one. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh. There we go. You can't see it, but it's a little door that swung open. It's super cute. Um, <laughs> you really can't see it though. It's awful. I'm sure. Where one. was it? This one. This one is now open. It just. Uh, which one's this one? Uh, is it the one separating the big room from the little people room? No, it's the one separating the small room from the main chamber. So you oh, all can oh, get to oh. each other now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Are we also way bigger uh, than the tiles? Yes, you are. Oh, okay. Sorry. I, I made you all huge, but I, if you'd like, we can scale it properly. Nah, it's fine. All right. I just wanted to make it visible. Gotcha. I just realized the actual tile size in there. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're ginormous. <laughs> I can run so fast. Look at me. <laughs> Whoa. So can I uh, go to this center thing? And what is, is there anything in this center thing? Or is that a wall? Uh, there are uh, there are some statues there. Um, basically, is history being depicted? Uh, you assume this one is about the person who constructed this temple, uh, oh. particularly. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's sort of just a, a statue that they made after after that uh, after that Kwai's death as a sort of monument to his work. And then, what are these around the big room? Uh, there are more more braziers and more of those same buttons as were in the other rooms. Ooh, Boo Boo, there's more buttons in here. Where? Point them out. They're in the corners. <laughs> like right here? All the little yep. uh, diamonds. The uh... So I run over to Andre. Andre, give me the sword again. Yes, of course. <laughs> sword, and then I run back. And I, uh, these look like three braziers to light. <laughs> so I'm going to light those. Cool. I'm going to say everyone else is also coming out this way. Uh, I'm not going to mark it. I'm just going to say, yes, you do it. Um, but I will mark the one, the button, once it's up. Ah, uh, once I find it. This is so dumb. Try leaving the game and coming back I in. did, I did. And then, look, so I don't have anything right here. I don't either. Oh, but then when I restart it, it'll come up. All right, so you're running around the whole place and doing that? Mm-hmm. Okay. That is affirmative. I'll run over here next. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so you like those. That and then I'll run back thing. over to this one. Uh, the grinding now is deafening. Uh, the entire place is shaking under your feet. Uh, you start to hear a whir and a rush. Not a was, but a whir. <laughs> Goodness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. Is this, but nothing is this... else happens? Not yet. Is this making anyone start to get nervous? Nope. This thing's great. Yeah, I'm <laughs> kind of used to get loud noises. Uh, this is kind of where I grew up. <laughs> what? Can I push Not these before. buttons? Oh. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Danny, I'm still concentrating on uh, on that d um, comprehend languages uh -huh. spell. Okay. Is it? Is it clear what uh, this area is for? Uh, that is where the cell light was found. Mm. Um, yeah. So Are this specific spot right here, this is where she was found. This is where Starheart grabbed the grabbed the arm, pulled the body out. Mm. Oh. So she floated down here across all of this and came up here to. And it's still very it's still very lit in here, right? Because the the roof blew off. Oh yeah, it did, didn't it? Oh yeah. So yeah, it's not super dark. <laughs> uh, but, plus but yeah. He's braziers, so. Hmm. Plus he's been lighting the braziers, so. Yeah. So yeah. So now there's like plus now the floor is lighting up with each of the, these buttons that is stamped down. Are these buttons as well? They are. Can I touch them? You can. Whoop. Those ones don't light. Hmm. Are these braziers? They are. I'll run up these stairs. Uh huh. And I'll light this one with the sword. Make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, that was where she was. It's probably like the most protected area. Mm hmm. That a boy. Uh, that's a 14. Not fast enough. 
Uh, Wait, you're blessed. Did you use your blessing? Oh, that might be gone. That's only like a minute, right? Yeah, that's oh, so never mind. The blessing. The blessing. The blessing. <laughs> that's going to be it for now. <laughs> but I do have. Oh. oh. Um, uh, a rush is heard as. I see that. Yeah. <gasps> uh, as a pillar of flame just bashes at mm. you and it it fires from both sides but you're catching the one from opposite the room mm-hmm. uh and you're going to take <gasps> he's uh, still you're, you take uh, it's actually not a lot shockingly you're only taking nine uh nine fire damage nine but it starts uh this can this flame continues to grow mm-hmm can I can I roll out of the way back down here? Yeah, once you're hit, you're able to move out of the way. It's just it caught you before you could react at all. All right, everyone, don't light that brazier. Uh, uh, what about from a <laughs> distance? The flame what, continues the to grow. <laughs> all the grinding continues to happen, and you hear that that same rush of liquid uh, starting to go. You notice as you're looking at the pools, those pristine pools that you were looking at before, and you notice a sort of rainbow gloss over the top of them now as the pools begin to overflow Uh-oh. and a sort of oil starts to seep from every pool in this location. Shit. It. What it's, if... it's time to go. I'm <laughs> still concentrating <laughs> on this. Uh, Nitzage, the room is starting to fill with water and oil, and there's a large fire in here now. Oh, is that what that heat is? But what about my treasure? You better grab it quick. Because... There is, I don't, I can't find it. <laughs> I thought pressing all these buttons would lead to the treasure, but clearly. Um, if it's been like 10 minutes, I'd like to read. Say, yeah. So yeah. I start reading the Kaiso Guaso Kinsa. <laughs> Nailed it. Huh? all that like out sure. loud like obviously i mean do i so to, to, to comprehend languages right i know what it i know what it says yes uh but i would say yeah you, you do read oh, it you in have its it. Natural, written down. yeah and it's natural tongue though i also have it written down if you need it um sure uh okay so I, i'll Let's read say that out loud like like while like looking around to see if that does anything yeah, so you say, uh, Kaiso Guayso Kinza, Sutala Neshika, Masala, Tu Lemshem, Sotu Helsate, Sokek, Hinda Klota Laspa, Utui, Foyhota, Makapa, U Kondai, Hinda Chilan, Mut Rotokon. And as in, you finish, I say that in perfect dialect. <laughs> perfect dialect. Just like that. Um, as that last word leaves your mouth, Con. the whirring, the grinding halts. The oil doesn't recede, but it also doesn't continue. The flame begins to die down until only the two pillars are lit with flame. Um, did that work? It did, but well, the water something. The oil is still rising. That's fine. Don't cast any fire or let the the conses on there uh, fall. Uh, Bubo, does her the original burial site? Does it look like we should put her back there? Is it still? whole or is it broken it looks fine i don't see the fire anymore uh that's my bad can i see anything <laughs> <laughs> um, oh it's still there oh it's, it's still there. there no but they're they're controlled it's no longer oh, like a, okay. a, in a trap these these pillars are now lit as as the other braziers are also lit Ooh, does that mean i can press buttons now i don't see why not <laughs> well, i'm gonna do that then this one's right here Okay. Um, can I go pick up the Solite's body, and I want to try and bring her back to her uh-huh. original resting place? Sure. Uh, the second you do so, uh, you're able to pull her through. The body, um, the second it makes contact with these five lines here, uh, it starts to, like, seep through to a different plane of existence. Oh. Until just, like, the stump remains as to where, oh. like, she wouldn't Whoa. have drawn the sword, but instead she drew the whole body. Right. And so she sort of just, like, melts away. But the temple, again, it's it's almost as you can feel the stone relaxing. It's no longer tense. It no longer, you no longer sense any danger in this place. Mm. Outside of don't light a match, uh, mm. you're assuming you've made it through the worst of it. 
Is the water and the oil still rising? Not rising. Just okay. the oil is still present. It just doesn't recede. It, Got yeah. it. Yeah. Interesting. Um, but also, as Bubo hits those last couple buttons, <laughs> it starts again. <laughs> <laughs> no, it goes. The floor opens up, spikes. We can short yeah. round, lean back on the wall. <laughs> I touched nothing. It wasn't me. <laughs> Yay, references. Uh, we, hear, we hear a sound, Danny, that goes doo 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 doo. Right? <laughs> Essentially, yes. One moment. Deadly Nightshade, that's funny. <laughs> Play me Danny. Yeah, we just oh we just freaking evil dead. Danny just evil dead some book somewhere. Klatu <laughs> <laughs> Uh hooray. I know you uh, know that nerd. So you see Well that's originally do you know what they stole that from? That's important. Yeah. Ryan knows because uh, he's a nerd like me. I'm gonna nerd. roll for investigation now. <laughs> history check. History that's, that's, check. That's, yeah, it's a history check. <laughs> No. Um, I'm gonna try and think about it. All right. Okay. Okay. Boop, boop. Don't stand um, too still about it. Boop, boop. Boink. Arnold Schwarzenegger's Running Man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't stand too still. No, much Hello. much older than that. Uh, so Bubo, you see, mm-hmm. stone slides up, revealing this small room back here. Oh, oh way down there. Back where? I'm backing out. I'm backing out. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I take off running towards that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. We'll be, we'll be right with you. I still can't see shit. Oh, I see it. Oh, How do I see these rooms, but Uh-oh. I can't see myself on this map? That stupid roll Refresh. 20. Refresh. I refreshed too, and I still only can see myself. Oh, I've refreshed. I've took it down and rebooted it, and I still have, like, different layers I still can't shining. see me or the top people up here, but... Don't know. But I can see, the, I saw the fire come up. I saw the room open up. <laughs> I literally can't move my character where I want it to go. Old Monty. Ugh. Rude. No, stop it. Stop <laughs> rolling. I'm glad you can see the room. I can't. Oh, the day the earth stood still, huh? Yes. I didn't, yeah. I didn't know. I, I read the chat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And my dad got it. Actually, I wouldn't have. I would have said like Nosferatu or something like that. <laughs> it's yeah, it's it's a black and white movie. It's, it's, you're, um, you're in the right genre. So I'd like to investigate this little room, check for traps before I step in. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, investigation. <laughs> eleven. Eleven. Well, uh, no, eleven. Straight yeah. eleven. You don't see any traps. <laughs> Doing great, pal. Great. I'm gonna go in for the treasure. Hooray! Nothing happens. Uh, you do see a a very very large uh, pile of loot, um, but sticking out of this pile is another massive sword. Oh. It seems to be made of, uh, of basically. It looks like carved ice. Hmm. And as you go to touch it, it feels cold to the touch as well. Uh, mm-hmm. It doesn't harm you, but you're aware that this sucker is just like, it is just exuding cold energy. Um, meanwhile, uh, there's lots of stuff in there. So let's uh, get out our pens and papers, everybody. Oh. Google, are you Present are you day. relaying this or are you kind of keeping it to yourself? Oh, I'm hoarding all this shit until I decide what and figure out what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going uh, to anything because I'm not there. Fabulous. Uh, you find a small dagger. Uh, you recognize it from your business as a dagger of warning. Oh, of warning. Of warning. So this magic weapon warns you of danger. Dan, if you want to, if you want to wait, I can role play that identify out. Sure. Okay. Try sure, all sure. the weapons out if, if you want to. You don't have. Yeah, to. that's fine. Okay. So you find a small. You find a small dagger. Uh, <laughs> you find a small ring. You find a bottle that seems to be just stressing against the cork. Um, oh, and it looks like soot on the inside. Uh, you see a wand. You see a, a potion. 
you see um <laughs> you see a gem that looks fairly rough to the touch but it, it glimmers with a magical energy and then we'll see Oop. Dun, dun, dun. where is it and you find uh 500 gold pieces you find three yellow diamonds and you find two white diamonds each of which is the size of your fist how many white? Two? Yeah, two. Yes, two. Not bad. Not bad. And then that sword, right? Yeah, and that sword. That big ass ice That's sword. Nice. It's huge. Like it you're not even certain you can wield it. It is so large. Hmm. Uh it it is easily about uh it's it's just under seven feet tall from pommel to tip. That's huge. Giant sword. Sweet. All right, I found some stuff, everyone. Ooh. Sorry, and you do find, sorry, there is also one small leather pouch uh, that is wound tightly together. I love stuff. Uh, <laughs> actually, while they're doing that, though, I have a couple empty vials from potions I've used. Can I try to skim off some of the oil? Sure. From on top yeah. of the water? Oh, okay. absolutely. You do so easily. I will take two vials of the oil then. Fabulous. A couple. Fabulous. So I, I emerge dragging like all of the stuff <laughs> as, as much as I can. Just drag dragging all of it out. Oh, I found some things, guys. I can see that. <laughs> yep. I found a giant sword. It's Ooh. icy or cold. Hmm. I don't even know if I can wield it, but it's huge. It's del delightful. Uh, it's my favorite. You're not even attempting to hold it right now, right? You just you left it in the room. No, it's it's like tucked underneath my arm, and I'm just like dragging it <laughs> <laughs> along with all of the other stuff. Um, so I uh, I'll split the gold piece uh, gold and give um, Aura, Nitsaj, Andre, and uh, Starheart uh, 100 pieces. Oh, well, thank you for that. Thanks for that. Yeah. So that leaves me with 200. Fabulous. Oh, Works boy. for us. Yep. I'm all right. So here's some of the gold since you all helped so kindly <laughs> and we're all friends and things. Well, I've got that. Um, I found some things though. Uh, I don't know, Nissage, if you can help me figure out what they are. Absolutely. I have a small, small dagger that looks really cool. Kind of want to keep that too. Uh, a small ring also looks really cool. Shiny objects. Super want that. I have a bottle with stuff. I have a potion and a, a, a gem. Some I have some gems. I kind of want to keep those. <laughs> I mean, who wants a, a wand though? Um, I think. Anybody want a wand? It depends oh. on what it does. <laughs> um, I'm going. I would like to um cast detect magic again because it, it went away after I did the the ritual for comprehend languages. I'm gonna mm -hmm. cast detect magic again. And um, and go around and look at all the stuff and see if there's any kind of magic, and if there is magic, uh, what's what's uh, what type of magic it is. Sure thing. All right. So the dagger you can tell is is magic. You can tell the the small bottle with soot inside is also magic. The ring is magical. The uh, wand obviously is magical. <laughs> the small. <laughs> The small leather pouch. Uh, where the hell did I put what, it? What what uh, school of magic is the wand of? Does it say it all, or does it does it kind of does it? Do I can I claim that? Uh, when you when you sort of hold it in your hands, you just think, ooh, fire. Uh, uh, okay. Evocation. Yeah. Evocation. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yes, oh, uh, uh, and then are there any objects that aren't magical? Uh, the diamonds are just diamonds, the gold okay. is just gold. Um, I think everything else is magical. The gem. Some... Oh, sorry, yeah, that gem is also magical. The gem that the is not diamonds is, uh, Does yeah. the, uh, the leather pouch ping anything? Oh, yes, it does. Oh. 
Okay, so now I'm going to can we can we put all this on a on a table or or on the floor or or should we should we carry this back to the camp or or, or do you want me to identify all these now? What are we waiting for? <laughs> it's fairly safe enough? in here. Okay, fine. Yeah, we've already um, disabled the trap that was going to kill us. So okay, that was so good doing, by the way. Uh, again, talk amongst Excellent. yourselves. I need ten minutes. Um, <laughs> So I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna sit down, crisscross applesauce. Um, <laughs> open my open my book and start casting this ritual. Uh, this identify. I'm gonna pace around him. <laughs> on all the, you, you done? Can, hey, hey, you, can you, you not done though? Can you? <laughs> yeah. Go play. Are you done yet? No. <laughs> Are you done yet? Is, there, is there a particular order you'd like to go in, or do you want me to just? Um, actually, you probably not need to go over again. Uh, are you? Are, are, is anyone writing all these? Down. Okay, so, uh, so Andre, why don't you go ahead and uh, tell me which one you want identified? Uh, well, you kind of know the small dagger is a dagger of warning already. Okay, dagger of warning, and then um, what kind of um, is that? Is there a what's the power of that? What's a dagger of warning? Uh, so it it warns you of danger. While the weapon is on your person, you have advantage on initiative. Uh, in addition, you and any of your companions within 30 feet of you can't be surprised, except when incapacitated by something other than non-magical sleep. Mm. The weapon magically awakens you and your companions within range if any of you are sleeping naturally when combat begins. Mm. Uh, it's pretty sweet. Love it. Uh, let me. I immediately. You like... know what, Daniel? Is there a is there a way you can like? Well, maybe not right now, but later on. Can you message us the list of stuff that we found with all the? Yeah. Attributes of it. I can do that. Because that was a lot of words, and I would hate for you to just wait for 10 minutes of us writing down. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll open all these up right now, and as long as nothing crashes, we're good. <laughs> uh, no, that's okay. We can just read them off right now and just. Yeah. And then send it to us later or something. Uh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Obviously, if we were at the table, it would be just easier to. But we're not. Hmm. We're far Correct. away. All right. Uh, cool. The, one of them I'll just have to describe because it is um, not a real. But I'm not using what they have. I was inspired by it. So excellent. I'm it and bending That's it. That's wonderful. Okay, uh, Andre. What's the next one that we have here? A small ring. A small ring. Uh, you recognize this as a ring of mind shielding. Ooh. So while wearing this ring, you are immune to magic that allows other creatures to read your thoughts, determine whether you're lying, know your alignment, or know your creature type. Creatures can telepathically communicate with you only if you allow it. Nice. Uh, you can use an action to cause the ring to become invisible until you use another action to make it visible until you remove the ring or until you die. If oh. you die while wearing the ring, your soul enters it, unless it already houses a soul. You can remain in the ring or depart for the afterlife. As long as your soul is in the ring, you can telepathically communicate with any creature wearing it. A wearer can't prevent this telepathic communication. Does, is there a soul already inside it? Can I detect that there was a soul already inside the ring or is it empty? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Why don't you put it on and talk to it? Oh uh, yeah, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> no, but can I, can, I, uh, can I detect that or no? No, not off the bat, no. Okay. But you, you, you understand how it works, but oh. you're, you're, you're not as familiar with this. You've never seen one of these before. Um, once you're, it, you said you're invisible d uh, with the ring on, if you cast action, can you... Is no, you can make the ring cast. invisible, not yourself. What's that? You can make the ring invisible, but not yourself. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Okay. Um, you get all that? No, but I got the bullet points. Okay. Mm. Hey, Nitsage. Yes? This ring sounds like your kind of deal. And I like pick it up and fling it towards him. Don't, I'm right here. I have it in my hand. No, you don't. It was on the ground. <laughs> I'm putting everything on the ground. Stop taking things out of my hand and flinging it at me. I'm trying to do. I'm trying, I'm I know that's me you. taking what was mine back and then giving it to you as a gesture of goodwill. Because uh, are you quite done? I need to, I need, I'm trying to do this for you. Do you want this ring or not? Yeah. Well, then here you go. <laughs> Your ring. Thank you. Uh, um, uh, Andre, what's the what's the next one? Uh, a bottle that seems to want to burst open with ash inside of it. Okay, so I have that in my hand now, and I'm <laughs> yeah. So oh, this one's this one's interesting. It's spicy. It. it... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> so you you kind of like bring it up to your nose and, and you, you smell it really quick like you do like a little waft test uh you don't pop the cork uh you're about to before you realize that would be a terrible idea uh yeah. so uh sorry not not cork lead um it's a brass bottle oh, weighs about a pound uh when you uh, remove the stopper uh, it, you know this to be true. Uh, a cloud of thick smoke would pour out of it in a 60-foot radius. So it's an ever-smoking bottle. Uh, uh -huh. So it's a 60-foot radius first. And then the, every minute that it remains open, the radius increases another 10 feet, and uh, but its max is 120 feet. Oh. And as long as the bottle is open, the cloud persists. Um, you have to close the bottle with a command word. Uh, and then once the bottle's closed, it, it takes 10 minutes for that cloud to disperse. Okay. Uh, or a moderate wind can also take care of it. Oh, I've already got a cloud thingy, so I don't need that either. So if somebody could find better use for that, feel free. We can always stick it in the bag of holding if we need to. Yes. Fair enough. Um, okay. What, uh, what's does next? It, does it know? Do we know the command would to close it? Uh, you can make it up as oh, far as I'm concerned. See. Yeah. Basically, yeah. As long as the bottle knows you're talking to it, I think it'll, it's mm. fine. Okay. Should be Edward, make sure you're right there. Okay, you said. Uh, okay, Andre, what's next? A wand. Oh, oh, yes, yes. So I felt, I felt, oh, six, I felt. Six, five, a wand. <laughs> um, I can definitely tell this is evocation. So this could, this could be very well as, as, uh, as weaponry. Um, what, what does it do? Uh, you find that even though it gave you the, the, the instinct of, of fire when you held it up, you realize it's mostly harmless. It is a wand of pyrotechnics. Uh, so seven charges still on it, and while you're holding it, you can use an action to expend one of those charges, create a harmless burst of multicolored light at a point you can see up to 60 feet away. Uh, so basically, yeah, it's a, it's a big-ass firework launcher. Would uh, I know that like uh, non-magical people can use this as well, too? Does it have a command word or...? Nope, just use it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And it regains uh, 1d6 plus 1 expended charges daily at dawn. Mm -hmm. So you can keep using it for a while. Excellent. So this 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 is um, makes a lot of uh, visual effects. Um, Ooh, I want that. Can I have that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should try it real quick. See if it works. Um, you point, just point it that way. No, no, no. There's oil, oil on the ground. Don't do fire in yes. here. Good call. Good call. Oh, yes. Starheart, um, I'm going to give this to you because you asked nicely. So here. Oh, you're going to give it to her. You're giving away it's my treasure. Super amazing! It will make me look so regal. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what, Bubo, you can have fun taking it back from her because I don't want any part of that. <laughs> you don't have the authority to give it to her. Oh, sorry, sorry. She was just right here. It's fine. I don't want stupid magic sparkle wand anyway. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna move on. Um, what's next, Andre? A potion bottle. Uh, okay, potion. It is a potion of hill giant strength. Oh. Your strength score will change to 21 for one hour. Woo. And you can see a gross uh, fingernail floating in the middle of the liquid. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine all the books I'd be able to, uh, able to carry? <laughs> an hour, though. And then you'd have to leave them all behind. Listen, oh, I for once. Funny. And then you could be stronger than me. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like this potion, Ms. Suj? Uh, no, thank you. Great, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be actually really good, very good for you, Bubo. Um, okay, what else? A rough cut gem with energy. All right. So this Ooh, yes. is a uh, an elemental Beautiful. gem, Ooh. and you you know that it can summon an earth elemental. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Starheart, this is like the uh, the uh, water elemental that you yeah drink. that she tried to <laughs> eat. Drink, eat, drink, drink, eat. Please don't it. eat don't this it gem. Are you giving it to her? No, I'm just saying this is this is for <laughs> I'm just saying this is not food, and you should not this should not be consumed. And she's not having it. It's not hers. Okay. Stop giving away my treasure, and it's his. I'm not giving it away. I'm just, I'm just, I'm making jests. Thank you. Well, stop making jests then. Well then, well then here, Bubo, here. You found it. You can put it where you want it to go. I distracted Starheart with the wand so you guys could keep the other things, like <laughs> potion. No, she loves potions. Okay. That's true. Um, uh, Andre, what else, what else do you have? There is a giant ass ice sword 
<laughs> yep. Oh, yes. I've been waiting name? for this one. Um, yes, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and look at that one now, too. Yeah, two seconds. I didn't That's staff that yet. Uh, now, Bubo, this one is mine. I call dibs. Oh. Or do you? No, it's I'm jesting. I'm kidding again. I'm sorry. A sword. Isn't, is a sword no, bigger I than can't you? wield this. I don't. I mean, I know how, but I'm not. No, this is not. No. <laughs> this is either a this is either a, a bubo or a or an aura thing. One moment. You two yeah. should fight. Mm. If it's not a fancy name. Uh, oh, the name of it, uh, of course. Uh, so anyone struck with a sword uh, will take an additional one d six cold damage. Uh, when you hold the sword, you have resistance to fire damage. Um, and in freezing temperatures, uh, as of right now, the blade sheds a bright light in a 10-foot radius and dim light for an additional 10 feet. It's a big-ass glowy. Um, you said an additional 1d6 of cold. Is there a, is there a, a, a damage, a regular damage to it? Uh, yes. Uh, it is a, in the great sword family, so it's 2d6 slashing. Oh, 3d6. Awesome, yeah. 2d6. What's his name? What the, the coal, I'm just saying. It would be. Mm-hmm. Ah. Hmm. Um, These are all very good items for us. Is that us. a two-handed sword? Is it a two-handed sword? Or a it, is a, it is very much a two-handed sword. It's just <laughs> under seven feet long. It's what? a great sword. It, it's, um, it's immense. Actually, you would know, you? 3D6. 3D6 for sure. Uh, I'm going to call one. this one Ice Caliber. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was Icebreaker. <laughs> oh, that's pretty um, good too. Would you also say that that sword would have reach? Yeah. So About you seven feet. Two D six. No, but I thought. Did you just change your mind and make it three D six? I did. I did change my mind because it's a bigger, better sword than the things that are on the list that I'm looking at. One additional effect of this sword is that when you draw this weapon, you can extinguish all non-magical flames within thirty feet of you. That's pretty Whoa. cool. That helps for... <sighs> Beer Not Batman is 3d6 plus an additional d6 of, of ice. That's not too yeah, bad that... for a sword, I think. Yeah, that's pretty dope. It's free. Yeah. <laughs> pretty dope. That's the best kind of magic <clears throat> stuff. If I was a sword wielder, I'd find it dope. All right, um, final thing. Uh, what, a what's... bound leather pouch. Oh, a bound leather pouch. So you open the pouch. Uh, it has one of those like little like windy like wheel things. You have to like unwrap it and you fold it back. And it's this long uh, rectangular pouch. Uh, and you see that there are small stones separated by uh, by leather. So they're all sort of freestanding, a little smooth, uh, not very long, uh, maybe like an inch long, half an inch wide, rounded all the way through. Um, but you can tell that each one of them is charged up, like and ready to to do some damage. So the uh, you, you understand that this is meant to, to be used as a projectile, um, and whatever it makes contact with will take uh, force damage. Oh. Huh? So, like, if they threw the stone at them, or like. The bag. You toss the bag, or you toss the little gems? The individual stone. So, you oh. can, like, if you were to, like, put it in a sling or something and chuck one of these, so it would do normal damage, but then it would, on impact, ba bam. Ba bam. Um, there are can I can I can I gleam as to um, are there are there different different colored stones in there? Are they different or are they all just the same? They're they're all identical. Um, okay. So they are the stones are primarily uh, black, but there's like a little swirl of blue in them, um, and that blue swirl is sort of crystalline and it, it glows with the power that allows you to know. That, that Do I know if it, is it would it explode or is it more of an ice explosion? It is not. It's not cold. It's force damage. So it would. Uh, so essentially, like it, if you if made contact with an enemy, it would from that point <clears throat> and force them back. So it would do damage and knock them prone. Mm. Excellent. And how many of those little gems are in there? There are twelve. A twelve. You said that already. Mm-hmm. Uh, twelve gems. Cool. Um, yes. This is. Uh, this will be. This would be fun. Well, oh, you, Bubo. You, you also yeah. know that oh. they are all linked. 
So if you lose one, they are all like basically if you don't by the end of the day put them all back in the same box, hmm. they will not recharge for the oh, next day. They're uh, they're, they're oh, revert and earned. so once you throw it, you have to like run and go get it and put it back in the bag before before sun sunrise. Basically, you have an entire day to get them all back together. But like say for instance, you know you hit a bunch of people and you forgot to pick one of them up and put it back, uh, then they they all cease to to function by the next day. They use a spin. Remember where you throw them? Yeah, they're like uh, it's 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 like uh, did you ever play that game um, where you oh, shit? I can't I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's, I was gonna say it's gonna be like um, oh my gosh, not BB guns, pellet, not pellet guns, airsoft guns, airsoft. You have to go pick up all your airsoft bullets afterwards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo. Um, Bubo, this is a wonderful find. Um, which ones uh, do you want to keep? Which ones do you want me to hold on to in the back of hold holding? Um, I'll take the, well, the dagger, I'll keep the dagger on my person. Um, whoever wants that bottle can have the bottle and the wand. Oh yeah, uh, she's already got the wand. Um, I'll hold on to the potion and, and the gem with the earth elemental. Um, let's put... Anybody want the leather pouch of projectile stones? If no one wants it, I'll take it. Andre, you Anybody find that useful? Or Andre, do you want it? The stone? I don't have a slingshot or yeah. anything. Uh, I certainly could probably find a use for it, yeah. Okay. Well, between the two of you, you can take that one. We'll put the ice sword in there, because I'm not good with two-handed swords. Uh, Andre, do you do you want the do you want the ring? Uh, I yeah, sure. Actually, yes, yeah, I already have my ring, and I have this pearl as well too. So I, I feel like you're missing out on fun things. <laughs> I I I'd be happy to take it. In fact, um, it might come in handy when I have to meet again with uh, the cultists, so they don't know my intentions. Right. That's that's a very good point. That's a good yes. Point. So please have here, here, and I hand it back to you. Uh, oh, you gotta, you gotta flip it to him. It's a, you gotta like <laughs> put it on your finger, flip it. I, okay. That's how you give it. Okay. It like it. goes behind you over your shoulder. Well, hold on. I'm gonna roll for dexterity. <laughs> That's a 16. So take that. Oh, all right. <laughs> Fine. Uh, Perfect. Bubo, may I have the uh, bottle of smoke? Right. Yep. It's all yours. Thank you. Um. Can I have one of those? Couple of those gems? No. <laughs> well, what about the yellow diamonds? Can I have a couple of those? I've only got three. Uh -oh. uh, can, I, can I have one of the diamonds, please? Nope, I gave you gold. What if he trades you gold for the diamond? Nope. Well, okay. <laughs> Maybe when we get into the next town and I find out what these are worth first. Uh, you know what? I, I was mostly, you know what? Um, yeah, we need to, because uh, um, um, Andre might be able to use these if they're worth uh, an amount of yes. uh, a certain amount. A, I oh, usually what? can use them to revivify someone. Yes, that's what? very... To do what? Revivify. What does that mean? If you die and we can't bring you back, I can bring you back. With these diamonds? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> it's not a soul stone or something that you're looking for? A no, soul gem? It's, uh, let me see, where is that spell? Andre? Yeah? So it's okay for you to bring back someone and not me? It, it's not unnatural the way I do it. It's blessed by my god to do so. Oh, well. <laughs> it's still weird either way. <laughs> Uh, but yes, I'm able to, uh, uh, I need a diamond that's worth 300 gold pieces, uh, which is consumed by the spell. Um, and it has to yeah. be, I, I can do it within a minute of someone dying. You know, one man's curse is, is another man's blessing, so maybe I was just blessed, um, accidentally? When you have the permission of Cloat to do this, I will gladly let you bring someone back from the dead. Now, I do know that others have the same kind of ability, but they have other gods that they answer to. Is that... How do you feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> At 
this point, this <laughs> temple is <laughs> if you all would like to go somewhere else or do something else. Cool. Yeah. Um... Oh, actually, mm -hmm. uh, Nitsage, since you're uh, looking at everything, can you look at what this oil will do? What oil? Uh, I skimmed off some of the oil from the room. I mean, if it's if it's magical, yes. But if it's not, then it's just oil. Well, can you just look at it? Well, um, oh, well, I just gotta look at it. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta look at it. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can still. I think my detect magic is still on. Uh, yeah, is there anything magical about this oil? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so this oil is unique in that it does not burn with holy or magical fires. It won't ignite. But a standard fire, like normal torch fire, will send it up. And it burns for a long time, and it burns very hot. Mm. Oh. Yes. Uh, yes. This this is what it does. Oh, very good. <laughs> and we are stepping all in it right now, so... <laughs> Don't like to match. Uh, Starheart, please don't you dare um, command that wand to do anything. <laughs> okay, I think we're all good to go here mm. for my, from here. Andre, how much do you think these diamonds are worth? And I have the, the three yellow ones and the two white ones. Uh, would I be able to tell? Sure. Just okay. general market prices. You would put each of those yellow ones. Or did you roll for it anyway? I did. I rolled a twelve plus intelligence check, maybe. Sure. So Thirteen. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, you're, you. Uh, the yellow ones are easily worth five hundred gold just due to their size, mm. and each of the white ones is worth a thousand. What? Excellent. Well, uh, Ubo, these might be a little bit on the pricier side for that spell, but since they're of such a size, we could have them refined so that I could use them in a lesser scale. We could get a bunch of revivifies from one diamond itself. <laughs> <laughs> Great, then you can have one yellow diamond. Very good. Fabulous. That was... <laughs> Well, if we're, uh, oh. if we've looked over everything, perhaps we should get going. Um, are there any other um, um, companions with us in, in need of healing or anything like that? Me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, yeah, but Parin I think real toasty. Parin is, is safe as houses. Uh, you can rarely tell what state Jeb is in because he's always looking like he's falling apart. But right, he seems right. fine. He's in good spirits. So, yeah, no, everyone's pretty much taken care of. Okay. Uh, outside of your immediate group, I Ush think. Ush didn't take damage in that fight? Oh, he did. Uh, actually, that's true. Yeah, good point. Uh, Hush is pretty fucked up, actually. <laughs> um, uh, Hush, do you want us, one of us to um, heal you at all before we make the trick back, or...? That would be lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Andre, can you can you spare some healing from? Of course. Yep, just got some spare healing in my bag. Let me get it out. <laughs> <laughs> this is all we came here for in the glasslands, is it? Isn't it? Is there anything else we need? No, this is all we needed. Yes. Now it's time to break some chains. Mm. Yes. When, Whatever those may be. And we were going to, and that was. We need to go down to. Electric Abbey. <laughs> the mall? No, I, we need to go because we wanted to um, bypass. Oh, you know what? We can talk about this at the camp. Sure. Uh, that's uh, 18 hit points back to Hush. <laughs> Hooray! He looks and feels much better. Yeah, you I... almost you almost see him smile. He's been here. <laughs> uh, whoop. Hey, it didn't update. I'm going to refresh. Mm. Tried to move you guys back to the village. Uh, so you go back to, the, to that the village you all were at before, uh, oh, lugging nice. a bunch of extra shit. Um, <laughs> Some of the uh, some of the Quilem are kind of looking at y'all sideways, <laughs> um, but uh, they they mostly leave you alone. 
Um, Isn't there that guy from the village who came with us too? Yes. Yeah, we had a guide. Whoops. Oh yeah, you did. What the hell was his name? <laughs> uh, it was. It's like, <laughs> it's like S or something like that. L. 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 Greeted us. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to Great to job, everyone. You did good. You've saved Jumanji. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. Um, before we get back to the town, I'm gonna tell. Is Starheart hanging on to the? No, I guess Bubo, you still have the hand, right? The sword. Do you have? Who has a? Uh... The solite's no. hand. Solite sword. You lit the razor last, so you would still oh. have it. Oh yeah, we were using him to like. Yes, and yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Um, Bubo, I think if you're gonna hold on to that sword, I think you should keep it well concealed. Bag of holding. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Do not lose that bag. <laughs> mm. As you hand it over, like uh, it senses you're no longer fighting anything, so the the flame extinguishes, and you're holding again this jet black sword and and hilt. And it goes, I thought you were going to say it, it turns back into a hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh dear! Oh my! So I have, I have a sword. Um, so, sorry, I left you all alone, but I, I, I did hear you mention a while back that you were interested in potentially speaking with Pharaoh, our, our leader. Is that still something you wanted to do? Yes, tell him to let my people go. Pharaoh. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> I don't know how you spell it here, but. F A R R O W. F A R R O W. My brain went marrow with an F. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, perhaps that would be a good idea. Maybe we could, uh, convince him that patriocide? What is it when you kill a king? What is that called? Regicide. Regicide. Perhaps we should try to tell him that regicide is not the only option for lifting the curse. Well, I don't think he even knows... We haven't met him. Mm, no. We. I don't think he even knows that we are here. Does he even know that we're here? I don't... He I don't would. Know. Yeah, he, he is in control of this. Like, this village is the central hub for um, the Lem. Uh, so he, yeah, he, he lives here. People have been keeping him posted. But yeah, you haven't met yet. We haven't met him yet. Um, we we might just be able to kind of scurry away, or unless it would be rude to not greet someone who runs a place. You know, you don't want to go into a person's house and not say hello. Well, yes. you... I usually do that. Try to have a quick conversation about him, about maybe killing the king isn't the best option, considering he's your king. Uh, again, I don't think we have to bring up killing anyone. But that's, that's the king. He's he's trying to raise an army. That's what he's trying to do. Yes. If if he brings it up, we'll touch the subject. But otherwise, we could just be like, "Hey, we're here. We got a sword." Well, we don't sell them. We got a sword. No. We don't sell them. That. <laughs> uh, we don't say that. Oh yeah. What do you do with the, with the, the giant uh, with the giant ice sword <laughs> to drag it behind us? <laughs> That's in the bag of holding as well. Okay, it, it, it was it was blessed by a, by a, a, a magical shaman man. <laughs> <laughs> it stays cold. It stays. <laughs> um, yes. Well, we discussed not killing uh, Nelka. Right. So we discussed that. Uh, but... Correct. Um, Oh, and, and Pharaoh, yes, oh, Pharaoh, he does want to kill Nelka, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. um, we need to bring that up. It's kind of an elephant in the room, yes. Yes, we need yes. to bring that up. Uh, we and let him let it, we need to let him know that we have other plans that are a bit more... Um, Delicate. A bit less crass, maybe. Mm. Eight. All right. Um, L, um, when we get back to the village, will you um, introduce us to... Um, Pharaoh, please. Oh, I, absolutely. I, I I can take you right there if, if you that wish. Would be, that would be good. We we require an audience with him. F fabulous. I, I think he's expecting you anyway. Oh, um, good. So he, he rushes you all along. Uh, he makes sure your belongings get safely into the house of, of the woman who's been actively ignoring all of you since you sort of moved in. Hmm. But um, he takes you to the largest house. Um, I don't know if roll... No, I don't think roll 20 is where it's supposed to be right now. It's fine. fine. I'm Imagine in the village. Better. Oh, okay, cool. Imagination. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we don't need it for this. Whatever. Theater of the mind. That's more important anyway. Uh... Well, here, I'm back on now. Yeah. Uh... 
I'm in. I'm in. Dun, dun, dun. Um, You're in. So, yeah. So, Pharaoh, uh, the door is open and he stands to greet you. Uh, again, for a Kwai, he's fairly young. Like, you're assuming he's maybe like 40s or 50s or something like that. Uh, and he seems very pleasant. His his clothes aren't fine, but they are clean and well tended. He's also very well kept and well groomed, where you can see a lot of the Kwai Lim have sort of let themselves go. Mm -hmm. um, he uh, he is all about maintaining his uh, his sort of uh, you know he wants to look nice. Hmm. It's it's been a long time since I've had any visitors. Welcome welcome everyone. Uh, I am uh, Pharaoh, uh, de facto king of the Quailem, which is uh, king of the dead, which isn't the best title, but hopefully uh, soon we will be living again. We are amassing. You see, uh, Olness told me about all of you. He came here to tell me that uh, it is time for us to rise up against our oppressors uh, across in the Green Isles. Uh, uh, we're very excited to bring the fight to them. Please, please eat. Uh, I have made a pastiche. Uh, it is very similar to uh, what we used to eat on the Isles, but of course it is all made of this uh, same vegetable. I apologize for the taste, but the textures are just right, I promise you. Well, thank you for your hospitality, Pharaoh. We very much appreciate it. Uh, and and yes, while we do agree that hopefully an, an end to the Kwai Lem curse is coming, we believe there might be an alternate solution an, an alternate solution. One of the first four is the one who directed me to uh, <laughs> cross the sea. Uh, but, well, uh, please, please, uh, please, I, I, I will of course hear you out. Uh, my guests, please, please, please. Uh, we believe that um, Clot is being held by some sort of chains. We're not sure if it's physical chains or metaphorical chains uh, that um, bind him to your people and this curse. And we believe if we can break those chains, that would lift the curse, but then not have to shed any innocent blood of King Nelka. You think the earways are innocent? Well, now we know that his his father is the one who um, came up with the plan to um, um, exodus you um, from the lands, um, him and Elish. But we 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 can assume that Nelka is not his father, and we'd like to maybe not have the. Um, uh, for lack of a better term, um, the sins of the father um, come on to the son. And we have a uh, we have another option. But like Aura said, that we can um, take away this curse um, and, without spilling innocent blood. And yes, while the king was responsible for the exodus, but we believe there was also a darker force at play behind his will perhaps forcing his hand. I had not thought of this yet. Uh, thank you for this new information. I am keen to agree with you. He looks over, makes sure nobody is listening. Can you close that door for a moment? Of course. Thank you. Close the door. Come closer, please. You need to understand, this is not my will either. I am not about killing kings. I'm not about, I, I used to know Nilka. I am also from, I'm quite Lea. He like hold, he like opens his jacket. Little th hummingbirds like. Tut -tut -tut. Oh. I'm one of you, but you need to understand. These people have been angry for longer than most of us have been alive, existing. This war is the only thing they've looked forward to. It's the only thing that's been keeping them from killing each other or me. Uh, my promise to them that we will march forth is the only thing keeping myself alive and keeping order within the the, the glasslands. Now you're welcome to leave us and let us all die, of course. But here is my uh, counter offer to you, if, if if you will accept it. Is how much time do you need? I can delay our march, but if I stop the march, the Kwai Lim are going to be a dead people. But mm -hmm. I I can slow us, I can delay us, I can make us take more rests, that sort of thing. But we will do everything within our power to force ourselves uh, southwest to the Green Isles. We. we one way or the other, if we take too long, we'll have to turn around anyway. So, so, so I can work for towards something like that. Uh, but I, I'm afraid we, I can't not march. What if we gave the Kwai Lim another target? Who might they hate more than their <clears throat> banishers? Mm. The one we have been curse. 
Yes, uh, absolutely, Andre. Thank you. Um, we've been dealing with this um, sect of cloud followers for a while. Now, I don't know what kind of numbers they have, but if we go after Elish, I can only assume that his army of cloak followers will want to take on revenge or have some kind of standing with us even more so than they already are. What if we convince the Quilem, um, you being the gracious leader that you are, um, uh, maybe you can uh, somehow show them that that the real threat is these clo uh, the cloak followers um, and and Elish. Have them march toward wherever they are. Let us find where they are and their headquarters are. Give us that time, um, and we might be able to mass an attack on all of them. I like the way you think. I think this is probably the best thing that we can do. I agree. Now, we will have to rally them. This won't take long. Uh, I will amass the village, and we will speak to them together. You are continental heroes at this point. Mm. Words of your deeds in Copper Forge, dark as they may be, have spread, and we consider these rash but necessary choices very good here. Up in the Lem, up in the Glasslands and the Deadlands, we support you. I need you to support us. You were just in the temple, yes? Did you recover anything from the place? Yes. Now, I don't want it. I don't want it. I want you to use it to rally these people. Oh, oh. Show them you have the blessing of the gods, and they're most likely going to follow you into the depths of hell. Fair. Which is maybe where we have to go. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Looking Rudy. forward to it, actually. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like a whole lot of fun. Um, how would you how would you have us go about rally, rally, rallying um, all the different villagers um, in in such a short amount of time? Word travels fast across lines here. Uh, we can get any news uh, anywhere we need it. But we start here. You'll think of something, and he like pats you all on the back and starts <laughs> guiding you out uh, mm. into the center of the square. He's like, "Lem, gather round." It is time for us to meet! And all the doors open, everybody like comes out. You see people like swords on their belts and all this stuff. There, you even see Olness in the back of the crowd. You recognize him. I have been speaking with these wonderful heroes. <laughs> and I, they have told me the greatest thing I've ever heard. It is not Nelka Iwe's fault that we are all here. No, it is the fault of the convincer, the dark man, the red man. He's good. What's his name? Elish. Basir. Elish Basir. You see Olness like stand up. He's like, that person, that sack of shit. Like he just starts uh -oh. roaring. <laughs> uh, now, to further inspire you, and he like slaps your backs and pushes you forward, and he like presents. <laughs> All right, um, I'll take a step forward and uh, with thaumaturgy, I'll just start speaking. <laughs> um, good Kwai people, your future has been stolen from you, but that does not mean it cannot be regained. We believe we have the blessing of the gods on our side and we will take down the person who has put this curse upon you. Oh, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna pull out the, the sword of the Saul, Saulite, mm -hmm. and put it in Or's hand. We hope to bring you your freedom, to regain your lives, to be able to move back home and leave this forsaken place. We will seek out the Red Man, but we need your help. He has his... Army of Cloat followers. Army of Cloat followers, who are no followers of true Cloat but drain him of his power for their own will. If you find any of these cult members, we ask that you end their lives without question. There is no good in them. Defeat the army of the Red Man, and we will find the Red Man and free you from this curse. There is uh, <laughs> this pure silence for a moment. Everyone first looks to Pharaoh, and then Pharaoh looks to Ulnus, 
Then mm. all faces look to Ulnus. We kill Bastia! <laughs> and everyone just sink! And they all, just, yeah, so they're fucking roaring, they're <laughs> cheering, they're doing their thing. You have officially swayed the Kwai Lim crowd. Um, and they are, yeah, so that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna start hunting down cultists uh, with the little time that they have. Uh, so he, for, the king further explains to you, um, it, it doesn't really mince words, he's like, we've got a week to do whatever we can do before the curse forces us to turn back around and and come back up here. Because like yes. every day they're far and eventually it just becomes excruciating. They can't take it, they must turn back. Uh, so they fucking, yeah, they're, uh, they're rolling for it. They're super, super stoked. Um, would we well send word to Pharaoh when the time is right and we are ready for you to attack? Thank you, my friends. Ah, uh, please have more of the this uh, the, the the vegetable liquor on us, please. Uh, they like pull out a barrel for you guys to like roll with you on your journey. Um, uh, dungeon master. Yeah. Would I know of any teleportation circles close by here that they would be able to use, possibly to? advance their distance they could go Ooh, um off the top of your head no uh you've never been here uh but th there would be someone who has been here longer that you could find out so like olness you talk to olness olness points you in the direction of this sort of like kind of greasy frazzle haired uh uh quai gal mm. um who's just kind of like fiddling with like this plant that he's barely been able to keep alive here right i mean my ship is headed south we could Perhaps dock and send them through the porthole. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, not, I'm just not entirely sure where we need them to mass. Uh, I don't know where the cults. Right. So we is. talked about going back to the the pit mm. and finding the entrance to Cloat there. Correct. Yes. Yeah. I'm actually happily would. To cast feather fall and jump right in, but I'm sure that's not the best <laughs> of action. Um, well, we don't do we we don't know if the cultists are there no. or are they elsewhere. That's that's no, what we need they to they wouldn't be there. Um, there that's is one. Huh? So, uh, DM stuff, as far as this information you've collected over time that may have slipped, is you you have an understanding, especially you, Andre, that the cultists are essentially everywhere right they're in all the major kingdoms they're in all the major especially like the, the the higher the royalty the more that these these people can offer royalty right. they can give them more power yeah. they give them more things but you also know uh from recent conversations that the major concentration of them are are coming like the, they're not their headquarters but basically their concentration of power seems to be coming from the green isles themselves right so the the green isles would be where we would like send an army to go attack cultists if we were to most focus. likely um but the, uh, the same token is that it's very very difficult for a non for a, a any ship without permission to make it to the the land of the green isles because they have basically they have control over uh uh can't think of the right word uh basically the terrain that's under the water they can like kick spires up and smash ships and that mm. kind of shit if they don't want people coming in which is why their trade is always on the continent and no one comes to them got it. they come to the, the to the continent mm. but if you had a ship that had permission uh right. that is that would be the wisest way to sneak people in you you assume um we need to find a reason to go there um, Wait, I'm sorry, I totally missed that. So the stronghold of cultists is in Quarry? No. Green Isles. Uh, Green Isles. Green Isles yes. But the cultists oh, are everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Cultists, yeah, the cultists are just about everywhere because they, they've gone plain clothes, basically. So they, they've learned their lesson and started blending in. Mm. <laughs> um, so the, um, my colleagues at the college um, we're supposed to travel to the Steam Fangs um, um, not too long ago. Um, we could still travel to the Green Isles. I could speak with the uh, the college. They know of the dangers um, afoot. Um, uh, maybe I can, Maybe we can um, detail more now that we know more details, and they can. Um, 
um, give us the blessing or, or, or know people who would give us the uh, the authority to have your ship come in. Mm. Perhaps we could uh, get a letter from Queen Sleek Run or something of that sort. I. I was her captain of the guard. Since I was her captain of the guard when the ship was made, would I have her flags on my ship? Yeah, as options. Uh, I think because your ship was a free ship by the time you you received it, but uh, she also kind of gives you that stamp as far as travel goes. So you you definitely have them on your ship, ready to, ready to fly should you need them. And usually ships have like a couple flags on hand to to fly different for different things, right? Yeah. So, so, or because it is your ship, your personal ship, uh, you have your own flags, whatever that design might be. But then you also you have queen su- support. <laughs> so, if you wanted to appear more uh, official than than you are, you could fly those as well. Because initially, that ship was built for you to run for her, mm-hmm. um, and then she just gave it to you. All right. Um, Perhaps we could somehow procure diplomatic immunity. Diplomatic immunity. <laughs> do we do we know off the top of our heads what the what nation trades with the Kwai the most? Uh, Raffle, as a matter of fact. Uh, so so that would be the uh, Raffle is essentially a human kingdom, but uh, or a portion of the, the sorry of the human kingdom. Quarry is just uh, sorry, not Quarry. Fuck me. Uh, mm. South Isles, the Green Isles. Raffle. Ruffle, yeah, because it is it's the largest port. It is a way to swim around, but there's also um, the eastern coast of Saul uh, does a lot of trade as well. So that is the um, that's the gnome controlled territory. Well, uh, no, halfling, God, <laughs> halfling controlled territory. Gotcha. Well, Aura, your ship is going south. They need to go north to meet us at the Green Isles. I thought the Green Isles were southwest. Yeah. So, mm, well, like, from yeah. from us now, they are the have, southwest. We have we, the portal. We have direct access to my ship. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Of course. Mm-hmm. Um, would it be, uh, <laughs> what, what's, what's the map at? So, if we're travel, if my ship is here, traveling south toward Ralphal, which is like over here, the Green Isles are like over here. Oh gosh, here, I'll draw it in. All right. No, 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 no. Green Isles are Green Isles were northwest of Ralphle. <laughs> uh <laughs> no, no, sort of. What? Hold on. Hold on. might not have reached that far yet. Here, so if this is whoop, whoop, whoop. <sighs> map at? I need So if that's Saul, this is the continent of Saul right here. Yeah. This is Ralphle, this little X. Yep. Uh, the Green Isles are way the hell out here. Uh, loop. There is an island over here, but that is, these are the Red Isles, or the Red Isle. This is where the Minotaurs are from. Right. And then you all are up here in the Glasslands, which is at the very edge of, uh, of the continent. And my ship is, like, somewhere here-ish, right? Your ship... No, your ship was launched from the West Coast, so it's actually coming down the long way to go to, um... Here. Oh, okay. So it is probably, uh, if it didn't really stop to go anywhere, it's about here at this point. So in a day or so, it will make it here because it's on that mission to catch your um, right. catch Ophelia. Right. Okay. Right. I don't really want to alter the course of my ship. It's uh, it's on a time crunch. Um. But what we could do is meet it there in Ralphle. We're going to go south to go back up north? Well, I have business in Ralphle in a few days' time. Well, uh, of course, yes. And I, am I, do you still want me there with you? Yes, okay. please. <laughs> uh, well, you all are thinking on that. Sorry, Andre, you were about to have a, an interaction with a character. Yes, yes. So you've got the... The frazzled uh, uh, Qui-Gal. <laughs> uh, I do uh, beg your pardon. I see that you're busy, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I was qu- wondering if you possibly know the location of a nearby teleportation circle. Yes. That is still in operation? 
It could be. Hmm. We can't use it, but maybe you can. Why can't you? Eh, curse. Stupid things. You know. <laughs> oh. So it forbids you to use a teleportation circle? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we can only leave here by our own feet or vehicle. Uh, but uh, you know, no, nothing magical uh, can allow us to go south. And if I were to activate it, would you still be able to not go? Me? No, no, I could not. You? Probably. Oh. Well, so, uh, <laughs> how how close is this teleportation circle? Ooh, it's about an uh, hour and a half uh, that way. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. If I uh, need any more information about it, I'll come back. Absolutely. Can you pet my plant? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I this guess. sort of this little flower tendril thing sort of wraps around your finger and just oh. like loop, loop, and then <laughs> comes back down. <laughs> it's oh, so this lonely. Is a with a plant. Yeah, that's adorable. Um, well, thank you very much for your time. I, I walk back over to Aura. Uh, you you mentioned that you wanted to possibly pop out some Kwai Lem um, through the portal or something like that, yes? Yeah, to offer them faster travel, and cover more ground. They are not able to move through teleportation. They oh. have to do it on their own feet. Ah. But we are able to go wherever we please. And oh. apparently there is a teleportation circle about an hour and a half that way. I've never used a teleportation circle before. Where does it, where would it, where would it drop us off at? Last, well, who, uh, or, uh, <laughs> Nissa? <laughs> uh, of course, um, yeah, it's very simple. I mean, in the arcane in nature, you blink and you're there. Um, you just uh, you're kind of need to have. I just blinked, I'm not nowhere. <laughs> the, the, the destination codes, as it were. Um, yes, you definitely need to um, have uh, been to the other teleportation, um, someone with arcane nature. Um, uh, well, did, did you just talk to somebody? Yes, the lovely person over there with the, uh, <laughs> that one, um, mentioned that there's one close by and that it's still in operation if we so choose to use it. Uh, Justin actually doesn't really know quite the details of transportation code. Uh, like, you know, it's, it's, but I know Nitsuj does, so, uh. Uh, so you study it for like a minute and it, it gets registered to your brain. It's like learning a phone number. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Copy that. So, so you just need to find somebody who knows the code of the place that you're trying to go. And you've got people who've been around for thousands of years. I can't imagine it would be too difficult to find somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like memorizing a phone number, but in like 2005 when we remember. <laughs> <laughs> when you knew all the digits. <laughs> um, uh, yes, I can I can ask around uh, and, and um, get that uh, teleportation circles um, insignia. Um, yes. Uh, and we're trying to go to the mall? The mall? Where are we trying to take the circle to? What's our destination? Uh, are we not going to the Green Isles? Or did we want to go toward the pit first and, and snoop around there? We have to seek out wherever he is. I feel like the pit is kind of a last destination, really. Um, if we can't find another way in, it seems to be the quickest. Um, but are we are we are we needed to go to talk to the king, um, King Nelka, first? Is that is that what we're is that what the task that we needed needed to do? Mm, not necessarily, but I think that was an idea I had had was to stage a regicide to draw out the red man to us, using the king as bait. Ah, because um... we don't know where the red man is. We do not. Um, well, I know they're after me, and they're after Andre as well, too, so... Yes. Perhaps if we were to stage a regicide, and he does get drawn out, maybe we could lure him to where the Kwai Lem will be waiting for him. Mm -hmm. Um... 
That would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Um, so we, but we're definitely going to the Green Isles. It's either that or if, if Bark you're... Dungeon Master, thank you for the follow. Also, Beard and Batman is hilarious. <laughs> Someone pull up the quest log and see what's on her main. Oh. <laughs> you got no idea how I much I want to do right that. Now. That's all I did for <laughs> Skyrim, right? Let's, okay, main mission. Uh, yeah, y'all do a really yeah, good job of tracking all this, by the way. I'm aware of how much information it is, and I'm like, y'all are... Um, yeah, guys. So um, where's the fun side quests that we can... <laughs> um, it's just, I, I don't know how long it's going to take us at the Green Isles to uh, stage a meeting with him or anything like that. I mean, we might teleport there and immediately get arrested. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so, is it... Well, is why it... would we get arrested? I mean, We're not uh, welcome there. Only two of you are from there. The rest of us are strangers. And we're just going to show up uninvited. Unannounced. I think I think someone should give fifty dollars and give me DM powers. <laughs> Subtle. So, oh. so that I. <laughs> <laughs> Nitsage would would very much. Uh, I have a sending stone that I can uh, reach out to the college, uh, and maybe make some sort of. Um, uh, a plea with them um, to speak with authorities and allow all of us uh, into the Green Isles. Mm-hmm. Anything you think that would work? It's something. It's something. Um, okay, let's. Um, I, I, I should I do that now, or uh, I, I, you know what? Um, let, I mean, clock's ticking. So. Of course. What time is it? Right now? <laughs> what time um, is it? Sun, the sun is once again uh, beginning to set. Okay. And for okay. Aura, you know that this means you have one day left to somehow get back to Ophelia and save her. Aura? Yes? We're not terribly pressed for time for going to the Green Isles. If you need our assistance, we are all together. I, I don't know if it would require everyone for this task, but if you'd like to come, I suppose that's all right. I mean, I guess there's no reason to split the party. We've got plenty of time. (laughs) Although, Andre, I will be frank with you. The whole reason we're going to Ralphal is to bring my ward back from death. Understood. How is she being maintained currently? Uh, currently by medical and magical means, but it's been so long that the magic is starting to fail, and I'm afraid her body will start to decompose if we aren't able to bring her back quickly. Andre, I think you know as well as any of us that, uh, out of all of us, uh, you, um, and you, that Aura has the utmost respect for life and death processes uh, i know that and i i think it would be um very graceful of you um to understand where she's coming from in this um endeavor to bring back someone who is very close to her no i i understand the process i understand the the necess- necessity um and if it's something that you care about this much, then it's it's not something I necessarily deem unnatural. It's more the willy nilliness about bringing someone back from the dead that I do not find appeasing. That's on me. That's me. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> oh, 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 also, Andre, if you come, we could use the diamonds and, and have your blessing, a uh, close blessing upon her life instead of the chaotic power that I have that can raise so many people at one time in the best part of what, but it's fine. But the problem is I don't think that the diamond can reach far back enough in time to pull her back. That spell, no, but I might be far able enough. to do something else. Back in time. I think the diamond is only good for a very short window after death. Oh. Oh, hold on, Justin. She's already dead? 
Yeah, she's been dead this entire time. Oh, I, well, you said death's door. <laughs> Did you say death's door? No. Oh, I thought you said she was on, like, uh, she's being kept sort of alive by Her, magic and medicine. Her body is being maintained. <laughs> Oh. Her body is being maintained, um, but her the magic that is keeping her preserved is beginning to fail. I see. I see. Yes, I knew that. So, um, I mean, if, if Andre, if you don't have something, then... Uh, at my current studies, I do not know that ability yet. <laughs> so it's up to you. It is, and I, I, I know that, but now we're doing the uh, the morale thing and, and asking um, a servant of death uh, about this. And, and you are saying that it would be... For this instance, I feel like I could give, could give my blessing on it, as long as I'm involved. Well, that, that, that is, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I know that means a lot to Aura. Well. So it is then. So we go to, we hop on the ship, we go through the porthole and, uh, and head to Raffle. I think so. Sounds like a good adventure to me. Glad I could help in this decision process. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Bubo. You don't want to be in these cold glasslands for much longer. No, oh, I'm down to go anywhere. But, well, you know you can speak up whenever you want to. I did. I said thanks for making the decision for me. <laughs> <laughs> Lord knows I don't know what's going on here. This is great. This is um, this will be fun to have everyone join us. Um, I, I do want to run over to Olness before we make it away and just kind of ask him some questions mm -hmm. and get some answers. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um. Olness, hi. Um, uh, how, good to how see is you it? again, my friends. Yes, of I'm course. I'm feeling much better now. Good. How has the process been of, of coming back and, and being here? Outside of learning new slang, uh, it's all the same. Hmm. I think it's fine. It's good to see some of these old faces again. Uh, uh, do you recognize anyone? Oh, certainly. Some of these came up with me. Uh, that's that's amazing. Um, uh, have you ever thought about uh, going back to the cave and 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 um, resurrecting any of the other people that were there too? It's not my place to do so. Okay. We all sacrificed what we sacrificed, knowing we would be dead. I've been given a second chance, and I'm not going to waste it. I will find Basir, and I will do my best to end him for you and everyone who works for him. You're a very um, capable ally, and when we're so thankful that you've. Um, um, gave Pharaoh um, our um, stamp of approval. <laughs> of course. Well, it's only the truth. Well, we're actually on our way. We have some uh, business before the big business. Um, so we'll, we'll keep in touch with you um, through means and, um, and we'll get this, um, how do you say, um, party started. Fabulous. How, how are you going to get to where you are going? We actually have a porthole um, that um, has a trans, uh, transport um, uh, you know, transport from uh, both portholes wherever they're wherever they're at. Ah, I I used to have something like that myself when I was younger. My my neighborhood children and I used to use it to play games and pranks on our sisters. Hmm. Ah, but that's a you're all going idea. through it. Would you like me to place the one on this side somewhere for you, strategically for the future? Oh, because we can't take it with us, can we? No, you can't take it with you. Um, so we could use a teleportation think... circle to get to Raffle. Oh, 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 oh. Um, oh we can leave it with, we can have um, Parn or Jeb stay here or, or Fizz. Or we leave it with Hush. Or Hush. They can make their way um, at least maybe back to the Steam Fangs, if anything, or they can start making their way toward the Green Isles. Hey, Scabby Rooster, thank you for the raid. Scabby Rooster! Scabby oh, Rooster, friends. Um, is it, would it be uh, beneficial for them to uh, try and uh, travel to 
the green isles and then for us to try and maybe pick them up on the way or how would, how do we do that is that a me question that's it any one question it's just asking anyone around well, it's gonna take several days for them to march south so i just would feel bad to send our our companions through this cold icy place well why don't we use a teleportation circle like andre suggested and then we don't have to take the portal and move it and leave it and do weird things with it um it well fast. because the transportation circle um uh, we could do that but um the transportation circle only uh, will get us to a certain spot um still not in any kind of range uh, correct danny is it, he was saying it's not it's not anywhere close to anything right it's circle to circle so it'd be like a library would have one or an arcane scholar yeah temple. an established building like yeah. you know your your ship doesn't have one right did they no no so what i'm saying is so if we're like here right uh the transportation circle goes to what somewhere over you know over I here you just need the code to get us to ralph yeah. no you just need to know where you're going and you need to know yeah so it could be anywhere as long as you know where it is if that makes sense right so we just have to have to um we just, we just have to find out who knows what the transportation circle didn't then, you work for the governor of ralph for, for a while do you know where one is there would i know where one is there if there was anything yeah uh he kept one in uh the sort of uh one of his receiving rooms mm. uh, for heads of state uh, of other uh, gov the local governor governors. got assassinated, if I remember. Governor before. is definitely dead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> super dead. Uh, but uh, you you would assume that they wouldn't mess with the building, and you know that his right hand is currently ruling, uh, but he's ruling under pressure. Uh, but yeah, it, 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 to the best of your knowledge, it would still be there. Um, uh, uh, oh, oh uh, is, was it Artem, Artem Barlow is ruling now? Yeah. Yes, Artem Barlow is taking care of the city uh, in lieu of the governor, but he's not as, as strong a leader or as beloved a leader as... Of course, of course, of course. ...as Uret Sile was. Um, uh, yes, of course. I'm so sorry. I, 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 I forgot. Um, yeah, we could go to a, a raffle, um, help Ophelia there, and then um, use the portal to go on the ship. Yes, we could do that. But then I we mean, leave a portal in. I mean, the ship would be probably caught up because it's headed to Raffle. Oh, we yes. Take the ship from Raffle. <laughs> right. Yes, oh, pointless. Oh, my head always explodes. <laughs> <It's not. laughs> uh, yes, of course. Well, then let's just do that. Why, what are we waiting around for? Well, now, well, what is the. Uh, Message. Yes. What is the climate in Ralphal going to be like if we bamf into the, the governor's office? Well, I'm asking because Arden Barlow is in charge now. Is it going to be oh, weird? No, it's <laughs> it'll be fine. We we've, we've leveled up and we've got lots of weapons now. <laughs> uh, I mean, we'll honestly, we, we haven't been in months. Um, I'm and... only asking if we show up randomly in the governor's mansion, are we going to be received well or ill-received is what I'm asking. We've gotten out of a lot worse things than the governor's mansion. Uh, Arden Barlow is, is a, a friend to you. Okay, um, okay. So you imagine that he would probably do what he could to at least keep you safe, regardless of the current overarching okay. climate. Because you said uh, ruling under pressure, and I was like, oh, yeah, no. Yeah, oh. like, he, he's getting, <laughs> like, from, from, like, the business skills and stuff like that. Like, they're oh. they're they're whipping him. Like, he's okay. over their knee, basically. But he is, I mean, he's still in charge. The building is still his at this moment. I can use the Sending Stone to message uh, Artem to let him know that we'll be there oh, no. and that he should uh, make a proper... Um, Arrangements to Thank keep you. us. Uh, but it's not being used as a storeroom kind of right storage. now, and <laughs> such. Well, should we start heading for the teleportation circle then? I'm all for it. All right. Do we? Do we not want to rest first or anything? It's I'm, only I'm... an hour and a half away. Fair enough. I guess if we're not <laughs> resting on the ship, we could rest here. I just, um, you know, if something were to happen and, and um, you know, we don't know what's going on right now in raffle so sure. i just would like to be at the best of my abilities right. <laughs> well then we'll rest here first thing in the morning we'll head for the teleportation social on our way tell arden we're on our way and then and then we'll be in raffle tomorrow morning yes that Perfect. sounds great all right 
with having formulated a plan. So we can jump into action uh, next week. Um, cool, cool. Thanks, guys. I know this was like a pinnacle of all the information smacking together at once, which has only happened a couple times. So thanks for sharing with all the, all the bits all coming together. We got some good stuff. You got, know? Plan. got some new toys. Also, I would like to tell everyone. <gasps> You may level up to level up. Yeah! Uh, yeah! I'll text Demon uh, so that she's, she'll be ready for next week. Awesome. And yeah, so super, super dope. Thanks, guys. Uh, and thank you, everyone, for sticking around and hanging out with us. Uh, everything that you have tipped and donated goes right back into our channel. We are not physically in our studio currently, but we are still having to take care of all that uh, rent, electricity, uh, power, and stuff like that. Uh, so. Uh, Thank you. Uh, so everything that comes through uh, immediately supports this channel. So we really, really appreciate it. And we can't wait to be back in there creating more and more stuff for you guys. But we're really taking advantage of uh, of us all being in our own places and we're still able to play and it's been great. Uh, and we've actually been able to bring you guys more content because none of us are at work. Uh, so make sure you go to our Discord and check our schedule. Every week we're coming up with new stuff that we're doing. Um, so always check that, it's in our Discord under schedule. We have uh, meet every Sunday morning, post our new schedule every Sunday morning uh, so that you all know what we're up to. And we still throw in a couple extra things every now and then throughout the week um so thank you uh scabby rooster if you guys don't know scabby rooster make sure you go give them a follow uh they're fantastic they uh excellent artists designers gamers all that stuff um they're they're wonderful friends to us and definitely give them give them some likes give them some love and we're going to pay that love forward with a raid as we always yeah. do so thank you all everybody uh and thank you for posting those ryan uh Wormwood gaining thank you for that as well as love love dice and we are going to be raiding we are nerdsmith yeah, hey, nerd. awesome. Excellent. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Thank you guys. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thank you so much, everybody. All right. Hey, everyone. Yes. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>